Welcome to the Mega 64 Podcast, everybody. I want to thank our sponsor out the gate once again, the folks at Tenga Shouts in Japan. Out, Tenga. Shout out thank to you. Tenga. Uh, continuing the saga here, yeah. Tenga gave us the uh, advent calendar. Mm -hmm. Just give everyone a little update. Uh oh, this where are we at? Uh, best way to start a podcast I is. Can't know they're all, they're, uh, they've all been. I'm actually. Open. I'm actually. Uh, a day ahead of schedule. <laughs> a day, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? A day ahead? Uh, what? Yeah. That's a lot. How? You couldn't wait? And so <laughs> they, they had uh, some interesting new uh, devices. There was, uh, I want to show one of them. Go ahead and show it. You better drink some uh, oh, it's, it's so clean. But, uh, electrolytes. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, no, oh, you're breaking oh, the oh, eggs. Oh, oh no. God, everywhere. D oh, not on they, Dallas's shoe. The, oh. they, they all kinds of stuff. There's a Keith Haring. Uh, wow. It's got Keith Haring artwork on oh, it. Yeah. There was a, a special pride edition in That's here. Cool. Yeah. Um, if you want inclusive. something that makes you feel pleasant this holiday season, and I know you do, go to the link in the in the uh, in our YouTube info below. Uh, yeah. And uh, use offer code Mega64 and you can make yourself feel like a real holiday it's you can, winner. You can feel jolly. Is this legit your sponsor? This is our yeah. sponsorship. Yeah, is that a sponsor, yeah. Dallas? Dallas, Tenga. we went to Osaka once and walked into this, um, into Tenga. Uh-huh. And I bought a bunch of gear there. Rocco got, I got really excited. He's like, oh my God, there's a Tenga store? And, and I got in. a hat that literally said, masturbate better. That's what it okay. says. Yep. Okay, okay. And we... Uh, showed all this and promoted it and then they reached out and now they're our sponsor that's amazing so if can you, you believe if that you wander yeah. into a random store in osaka your life can be changed your life can be made better yep that's now amazing. he's sitting here all right well thank you, you tenga yeah. for making the holidays better go into the info click the link and order something for yourself he's ahead of schedule on the advent give calendar. yourself a stocking stuffer you'll enjoy yeah that's true give yourself okay. give yourself a stuffer that you'll enjoy that's right absolutely maybe use a stocking if it's a little rough, <laughs> you don't have to with Tango. Tango. That's right. That's uh, right. Anyway, T Tango, there's no coal in that fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, anyway, welcome to the Mega 60 War podcast. Here we have special guests tonight. Sean is joining I us. I am back. He had a whole week. He was sick. What happened, dude? That was two weeks ago. You or were whatever. You, I was. It's fine. Everyone knows what's up. Were you back on the last one? He doesn't even remember. No, not at all. Me and you had an intimate, you deep conversation. Wait a minute. You, what the fuck? Yes. Last week. You guys oh. are assholes. Go ahead. Keep okay. talking, Rocco. Go ahead. No, I don't even. I honestly don't. Well, Everyone. Dallas is here. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dallas is here. Hey, how's it going? Everyone can be an asshole with Tanga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you decide. You decide. Uh, yeah. Hi, guys. How's Welcome. it going, man? Thanks Good. for having me. Thanks this for is great. being back Merry on, Christmas. Dallas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to those who celebrate holidays. Yeah. Uh, we're, just, doing, yeah. we're doing holidays around here. In fact, next week, one week from tonight, is our big oh. Mega 64 Christmas cast stream that's right oh, the man. biggest stream of the year we always do Huge. it the ultimate food battle yeah. and it is continuing sunday december 17th uh one week from tonight i'm getting i'm train. i'm in my training phase now yeah I'm getting ready um, oh you're training already yeah oh i haven't i didn't stop Oh, Dallas, have oh. you ever been to one of our Christmas casts? Uh, I've not been invited. Oh, you guys don't you're always invited. No, no, no. Well, let's let's not get into the text messages that are going back and forth about. Hey, can I at least come? No, we're really busy this week. Well, that, we have, that's we're, true. We're all we're doing a Tanga calendar. We can't. <laughs> have <to> come in. <laughs> it took me forever. No, listen. I would love to come to the Christmas. Here's the thing, though. Is uh, I, is this the one where you guys? Uh, Throw up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I don't go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I knew. I knew we invited. We you. We talked about this a long time ago when you were at. Uh, the old city. Like Santee, yeah, was yeah, there? yeah. And uh, you, you should come on. And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> and I remember watching the one before, and I stopped because everybody kept throwing up. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I can't. I'm not too cool for that. It's um, it's just the worst. It's the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Will it happen yeah. to you? You know, I um, I always go into the night positive, be like, I'm not gonna throw up this time. Oh, I'm okay. not. But I think I've thrown up every year. Really? I think I do. Yeah. yeah I but thrown up every time. It's it's sometimes it's like at the end where I'm just like grossed out and then I'll just like barf because I'm grossed out. It's kind out. of a relief I think, sometimes. I think maybe there was one year I didn't. Maybe I don't know. Maybe someone out there knows more than me about this because I never looked back on it. But I think it was the the last like super gross one, 26 whatever year it was that Kevin brought the surf strumming. 
Oh, oh. I don't. I don't think I got far enough in eating that it made me throw Wait, the up. What? Like, Sorry, the what? He he brought Sir Strumming a fermented fish. That's from like oh. Sweden. Yeah, no. he had to import it. Like no. if you oh, uh, Dallas for we looked up into legality. If you open that on a plane, it's like a federal offense. Legitimately, <laughs> because they, they, <laughs> so they will land the plane instantly because it's so holy and shit. Our, our, our right, studio. Right. Right. Back in the day, smelled of it for yeah. months oh, afterwards. Months, you can't yeah. escape it. It was wild uh, that people eat that. So that year, I was like gagging on that, but I don't think I ate enough. You know what I mean? To to throw. I think that's the one year I coincidentally I didn't throw up. Yeah. Oh, that was the same year I drank my own piss, but yeah. that didn't make me throw up. <laughs> that was just um, use a life straw. Dallas, what do you want to drink when you come? Well, what? actually, you're still Hold on the fence, huh? What do I want to drink when I come? <laughs> Tank by the oh, thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Wait, what is the? I don't. I, I, I'm not gonna come to. You're this not gonna. I know. Oh, I know. I appreciate okay. you guys reaching out, oh. I, uh, inviting. But I, it's yeah. I, uh, throwing up is like my least favorite thing. I hate it. I don't like being around it. No, I Her? hate uh, piss doing drinking. It. You're fine now, with. I when Would piss drinking. Yeah, I that's okay. Really, I wouldn't really care about piss. Oh, drinking. it's yeah. the yeah. vomit. Yeah. Okay. I mean, don't, I wouldn't want to do it. But, yeah. Well, Rocco yeah. did with the life straw, so that like filters the piss out yeah, and just fun. gives you the water back it, it was more psychologically well you said it was warm like you were surprised yeah. like what else, what else <laughs> well, you're, not, you're not ready for it to be it to match your body <laughs> of course it does so i just did it was like it was psychologically bad it wasn't did actually. you try to like pee in your mouth like did you show no, 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 no no i don't know he, put, he peed oh, wait, in wait, wait, now why is that so yucky because <laughs> it's not filtered i'm not gonna just go I, this ain't a, I ain't filtering it myself. I'll yeah, the animal right kingdom does he's that like all the time. World, you know? and it's, he's just like Waterworld. I'm world. doing Mariner type stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. There was like a time in my mid 20s when we were just daring each other to poop and pee in places. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone yeah. goes through that phase. Yeah. yeah you know, it's just really, it just you go, you want to see, you want to see if you can just poop. I don't think I've ever done that. Not eat it. We didn't eat it. Well, obviously. Yeah. But I don't, I, you know, I've, uh, I've peed a couple of places that were like, that was weird. You know, one time I went to a party and I was like, I just peed in the middle of the street just to see if I could do it. You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's I, a weird thing to do. I never thought I would do that. I did um, that at your wedding, Sean. I don't know if I never confessed it to you, but we were leaving and it was like, we got to go. But I think the thing shut down, but I got to pee and where do I go? You know, you, yeah. you were out in a whatever place and yeah yeah like, we are well out. it's kind of yeah. nature i don't know and i just mm. he was, was a golf course he didn't, oh, it was okay. in nature well, <laughs> it was in nature well you know there's all these flags the grass it was like a whole it was a lake third, you know the third hole or whatever there was a bunker to do it you, you know. pissed in the hole <laughs> i mean where else would you do it that makes yeah, sense hole in one hole in one be great being is a lot of fun how long how much pee do you think it would have to take to fill that hole because it's gonna soak into the yeah i think you're safe but not immediately like yeah if you can pee for a while you could actually fill up a golf hole Doubt. Theme song. And that's why Tiger Woods is just essentially canceled. He couldn't. <laughs> Fill it. Couldn't fill the hole. No. Anyway, welcome <laughs> to the podcast this week. Uh, as we mentioned, special guest Dallas. Figure just I, repeat the whole first part yeah, of the show. Totally. You yeah. know, att people's attentions are all over the place. Holiday season. Tenga. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, no. Uh, great to have you here, Dallas. What's going on in your life right now? Oh just man, kind of want to update. Yeah, I was no, watching well. some old. Uh, I'll just preface and say I was watching some old bad credit footage last yeah. night. He was in the band Bad Credit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. A lot of you, you'll hear some of their tracks on like a lot of our older Mega 64 videos, mm -hmm. things like that. Oh, so yeah. I'm just saying like that. I was revisiting it. A lot of our older Mega 64 videos. Way back. Ancient, way, we'll ancient you know, ones. Way back. Uh, I, uh, we're do I'm doing great. I, I mean, I came, I came here to offer something to your fans. What's that? Oh, okay. You've been um, trying to come here for a while. Well, because here's the deal. If you could, I put out, you guys have been nice. And, uh, let me preface. Okay. I'm going to need about 20 to 30 minutes. That's you guys, fine. is Dallas anti-vaccine <laughs> hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the Aquabats. Um, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> uh, you guys have been really <laughs> nice. <laughs> or the defiant, sorry. You guys have been really nice uh, to uh, have me on when I uh, have new albums come out. And, and, and your fans have always, and, and honestly, your fans, and I think I've said this last time, are very, very, very sweet. Yes. Uh, every time I leave here, uh, people, I get a bunch of uh, messages 
that uh, that uh, you know people are oh I listened to the album I got the album it's so good thank oh, yeah. you it's great and then you know for months afterwards people send me my, it's, it's just so it's very sweet so I thank you to all your your fans for for being interested but uh, I was doing this promo thing with this latest album I put out mm-hmm. and here it's I didn't start the fire and other lies there's a story on here about bad credit how we started and yes. how we are just in the ether now. Uh, and there's a lot of stories when I worked at SeaWorld, all these stories about jobs and stuff I've had are on this album. So I did this promo thing and because of the promo thing, I had to buy a bunch of CDs. I had to get CDs made of the album. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a long story why I had to do that. It's not important. I did have this, these CDs made. Well, that promo thing is over. It mm. had very little to do with me as a human being. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, man, I got all these CDs now. Which what, is cool. Which is cool. It's cool. Because, hey, we why love not? physical media. People love physical media now. I love physical media. Yeah. So I'm like, oh man, like, what can I do? I should sell these, but like I don't do a lot of like storytelling shows. Yeah, and when I go yeah. do stand-up shows, um, I want to leave as soon as possible. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hate being I hate this. hanging out. I hate talking to people after the shows <laughs> when I do stand-up. <laughs> Uh, and that's not to insult anybody. It's just when you do a stand-up show, you guys, get, I'm sure you, you guys fucking get this when you do your tours. It's got to be one of those things where you do a tour and at the end of it, you have, but see, here's the thing. You have a merch table. You have stuff where you do signings. If you were just standing there like I am, people will just come up and assume they can talk to you about comedy. And you're like, dude, that's the last thing I want to do is sit here and talk to you about comedy. Talk to me, anybody know, about comedy. Yeah. You know, I, we, I, I'll just speak for myself. I don't know about you guys. I do luck out with that. We did our, we just did our live tour, uh, finish it last month. And I, uh, after the show, I actually do come out and talk to people and they don't every now and then someone will ask about video making or, or comedy mm, or whatever. Okay. But I have to say most of the time it's actually like, did you see uh, Shin Common Rider? What did you oh. think about it? Uh, are you going to see that new Godzilla? I'm like, oh, we we talk about our interests on here enough. You know, same and with you. Same well. with you. Oh, I see people bring yeah. you Padres stuff. That's you know, true. That's so true. I do see, think that's cool though. Yeah. I would yeah, love exactly. to talk about the Padres. Yeah. So if somebody yeah. wanted to come so up and talk about baseball, I'd be like, yes. And that's please. What is that they a lot of times too. It's like. Hey, you're in whatever Milwaukee. Like I'm a Brewers fan, but like yeah. I was watching the pot and we go and yeah, like, yeah. baseball talk. Which so I that's do. what I was gonna say is I actually really I actually do like going it, when I can. Sometimes we can't. I like to come out after the show to talk to people because I I do feel lucky. But I will say I ha- you know going to stand up shows in the past. Yeah. yeah, I always see the comedian stand there and I do feel bad for them because mm. I I like there's a couple like I would like to say hi to you. But, but, what, yeah, what, yeah. but that's for me. They don't, it's hard sure. and you don't, I don't do it. Yeah. So anyway, so listen, so I don't, I don't sell merch at shows. I just don't, I don't, I want to leave and go drink somewhere. <laughs> so I, I usually, so anyway, I have these CDs now that they're just in my house and I was like, all right, well, what can I do with the CDs? I can sell them. That yeah. can be a thing. People can buy them because having a CD is fun. There's a track on here that is not on the band camp and will never be on the band camp. Um, and here's, so here's the deal. So here's what I, I thought would be fun to do. I'm going to sell these CDs okay. for $15, right? That includes shipping Okay. because I don't know how to do anything. Wow. Um, so $15 includes shipping, right? Okay. But here's the thing. And this is this announcement is for the Mega64 podcast. This I'll do this later on, maybe next week for the public or something. But I only have a certain amount of these CDs. Mm-hmm. So I think I have like 80 left. So if if I sell out... Then I sell out and then nobody else gets them. Yeah. But if you Mega64 folks buy this CD for $15, and if you live overseas, you know, fuck off. I'm not, that's not, come on, man. That is <clears throat> shipping alone is like $112 to send a CD. We're doing United so, States. Yeah. So if you're in the United States, $15. If you buy this CD, you'll get three things with it. You'll get a free digital link to the album on like Bandcamp. That. That's a clutch. Like that. You'll get a free digital link to my first storytelling album oh, on wow. Bandcamp. That's cool. And you will get a free digital link to a secret album called Secrets with three S's Wow. that I made just for this. Whoa. Now, what's on that Secrets album? Thanks for asking, guys. I, yeah. I was getting there. I sent, I sent you guys a link, but no, you guys didn't listen to it yet. The Secrets album oh, is... Man. Uh, it has 18 tracks, and on those tracks are uh, almost all of it is music, uh, unreleased songs from punk bands I was in, Fuck from yeah. ska bands I was in. There are unreleased bad credit songs. Oh, that shit. Are on there. Oh. there are live bad credit tracks that we never put out in any kind of real form. Yeah. Uh, a lot of those kinds of things. And then there's also some stand-up tracks from my stand-up album that's not anywhere anymore, but I put that on there. And then I'm, I've made some uh, really terrible music uh, that I just laugh at all the time. I put that on there. 
Uh, and then there's some tracks on there from uh, a guy that I work with a lot named Wally Bunting. I've produced a lot of albums with a guy named Wally Bunting. Mm -hmm. So there's some Wally Bunting tracks on there as well. So that's what you will get. If you want to buy this CD for $15. That's a sure. lot. That, you that, get that this CD. seems like a fucking deal, Dallas. Yeah, thank you very much. You get free <laughs> links to this album on Bandcamp, uh, the, my first album on Bandcamp, and an album called Secrets on Bandcamp. Where would they go buy this? You can literally, this is how terrible it is. I am about doing this. You can just message me. Oh. You can email <laughs> me. I'm serious. Yeah. Anywhere you want to message me on Twitter. I'm at Dallas underscore MC on Twitter. I have a website, Dallas S. McLaughlin. You can email me there, DallasMcLaughlin.com. You can go there and you can email me there. You can go to Bandcamp and you can email me in Bandcamp. Instagram, Dallas okay. S. McLaughlin on All Instagram. All the boxes are being checked. Dallas M A C at gmail.com is wow. my email address. Dallas M A C at gmail.com. Anywhere you want to message me, you message me that you want the CD and then we'll make it happen. Do you take, you do you take PayPal? Uh, no. Do you I take, take Venmo? No, I only take um, checks. No <laughs> checks and Bitcoin. Okay. No, no, no. I take, yeah, I take uh, Dogecoin. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. No, on. but seriously, I, I do take PayPal. You can PayPal me. You can Venmo me. I I'm don't sold. do Zelle. Um, but no, you can PayPal I'm me, you can Venmo me, no. Apple Pay. and uh, you can uh, Apple Pay. Sure, why, why not? not? Know, maybe. Why not? Yeah, I don't really know how to work Apple. Pay. Yeah, probably not. Probably, probably not. not Apple. Pay. Probably probably not. Not. Just, but, yeah, I think stick with the PayPal. One. Stick, Venmo, PayPal. They've been around forever. PayPal. You can send me money. I see. Here's the thing. Like a couple of guys found out that I had these, and they messaged me, and they're like, "Hey, can you uh, can can I get the hard copy?" And I was like, "Yeah," and they just literally mailed me a check. You they really that. did that. Yeah. Wow. You can do that. You can still do that, that. I used to do that. I remember back in, <clears throat> God, it was probably 97, 98. And uh, there was a website of a guy. Uh, I wanted to see Japanese uh, Power Rangers, basically, you know, Super Sentai and yeah. stuff like that. Okay. There's no way to download that or whatever back then, at least not very well. So I would, um, there was a guy who sold bootleg tapes of like, okay, this has hours of O Ranger or 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 uh just un unsubtitled Dragon Ball Z was on there too. Um and I would send him a check. It, it, I had no way to to, yeah, to I'm sure it was your parents' check, right? And I think I might have had <laughs> there might have even been PayPal at that point. But yeah, I would give my yeah, I was like, hey, can I can I give you uh you know 25 bucks and wow you'll write the okay. And so we wrote the check and would send it, mail it to the guy on a website, and he's like, Okay, I got your thing, I'm sending it this week. And that's how I watched. That's how I watched old Common Writer. I was just I would buy these guys bootleg tapes. The only time I've ever a check. got a CD through the mail was bad credit. Oh, look at that! It was you were on Fox Rocks. Okay, and oh, oh wow! I remember I, remember I recorded that. it. I was like, this fucking was great. So I emailed Fox Rocks and I was like, how yeah. do I get this? And then the guy was like, I I think I got it through that. He sent me a copy or whatever. That's really funny that yeah. they sent you a copy and they literally we didn't get any money from that. What? Fucking Fox Rocks. <laughs> Fox Rocks. If they sent you a copy. They didn't pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, they didn't like call. Yeah. No, Troy Johnson didn't call me and go, hey, man, can I get uh, Troy Johnson? Who knows? Now owns San Diego Magazine. Uh, uh, but well, anyway, that's anyways, it, man. 15 bucks. Message me on any social media. You can email me. I will say um, to the Mega 64 fans out there, yeah. I, listen, I haven't listened to the Secrets one yet, okay. but I've listened to the other two. Very much recommend them. And the bad credit story alone is super fascinating, but all of it together is awesome. So Dallas. Thank you. I I give my thumbs up on this. Yeah, and I'm I sold say, too. Uh, yeah, and like you get a little picture. There's on the CD, you get the pictures on the back of uh, the, uh, there's like stories, the pictures that relate to the stories oh, that's I tell. Oh, too. So there's this picture of me as a mime because I did mime work. In SeaWorld, I saw you. There's a picture of me doing stand-up. Wow. Picture of me and Steve Martin because that's a story I on the album. I saw that too. So yeah, if go get the 15 bucks, you can literally message me anywhere. They're putting it in the chat. Yeah. Whoever's doing Someone that. Someone got all your contact that. info in the chat. <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, uh, email me. You can go to my website. Email me on Bandcamp. Wherever you want to do it. 15 bucks, you get this. Free links to my albums and a secret album that's just for CD purchasers. Easy. It's that's literally, it. you can't get it unless I give you the link. It's not even See, available. See, that's exclusive, yeah, baby. That's yeah. I made it that's so it's a cool. secret album that only the link you have will provide you with the album. Now, you could always be a dickhead mm. and uh -oh. don't, don't, take the album no. and then ruin it. No. Why would you do that? But why would you do that? Who don't would do, do that? No one would. No, here's the that. thing. Can I remix Some it? Internet fan groups out there, they would do that. Can our fans, they would do I don't that. think so. I, honestly, I do. I do think that your um, uh, 
your fans have been real. Like I said, they've been really nice about it. Like, yeah, which is great. I think we've all matured. I think we, Remember, you know, like honestly, I would uh, say like going out on the road and doing the VIPs that we did, and then like just meeting people after the show, like. Everyone's just really nice, you know. Everyone's really, Everyone's really, really, really sweet. sweet. We, we had, had great, great interactions great time. on the road. Dallas, yeah. you you've toured in your life. I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a city that you're like, I'm never going back to this fucking city? <laughs> yeah, Lancaster. Lancaster, Lan- yeah, 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 Pennsylvania. Lancaster. Wait, have I not told really? you guys of the Lancaster story? No, no, but my wife is from Lancaster. Well, she from LA. They moved to Lancaster when she was in high school. How long did she live in Lancaster for? Uh, Wait, didn't you meet her in high school? No. I met her right out of high school. We started working at Chili's together. Oh, so it's just not very long then in Lancaster. She, I think maybe she, yeah, I think she moved in there, I'd say five years, five, six years. Lancaster is um, terrible. Yeah, she <laughs> uh, she left. <laughs> she did not like it. We went, we played at a place, I don't even know if it's still there. It was, it was the, it was an Aquabats tour, I think. They, they Aquabats played Lancaster. So we were, well, so here's what, it's hard to explain, but. Let's just say we want to play California. In yeah, yeah. yeah, it's okay. like in the Inland Empire. It's, it's part like, it's of the like Antelope Empire. Valley, Lancaster, oh, Fort right. It's like you're just. I, yeah, I thought this was PA. There's yeah. nowhere <laughs> around it, and then <laughs> somebody who lives in Lancaster. Well, if Grand Pat Ermanato, <laughs> um, can you tell me is Mr. Q's Billiards still there? Mr. Q's Mr. Because that's where we played. That's your and we go venue. right. If you go into Lancaster, there is, we got there early, not on purpose. (laughs) (laughs) There wasn't traffic. So we got there early. We get to Lancaster. We go to Lancaster. And like, there's nothing to do, nothing at all to do in Lancaster. Like, it is just a stopgap between towns. I, yeah. And we were playing this place called Mr. Goose Billiards, which was like a pool hall. Okay. That was also like an, but a nicer pool hall. It was almost like, um, um, and by nicer, I mean it was like if a Chili's was a pool hall. Mm-hmm. Okay, does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, you know what I mean, like yeah. it's shit like, on the wall. It's not a shitty little place. It's like it, it's, it's got it's some decorated nice stuff to it. But we get there, we have lunch, we have nowhere to go, and so then uh, we see a video store, and we're like, hell yeah, a video store, man! Yeah. Like they were dying off. This was two thousand eight, maybe they were like totally dying off. So it was just nice. Let's go in the in the parking lot to the video store. Fucking packed. Mm-hmm. Like oh. everyone was at the video That's store. To be. Where else are you going to go? So we go into the video store, myself, uh, our buddy Nick, who is uh, our tour, our like uh, roadie. And, uh, and I don't know if Matt was with me or not, but a couple other guys. We go in and uh, it's nobody's there. Like we walk into this huge video so, store, no one's there. But this is empty. Parking lot's full. Parking store lot's is full. empty. Store is empty. Okay. Uh-oh. We're like, hmm. what the? It's up front. (laughs) Like we were so confused, right? And then we like saw people, like we started seeing people like kind of show up, like out of nowhere. We're like, what the hell? We figured, then we figured out. Uh, Uh, They were in the porn section. That's what uh, I thought. Which was a huge, like if the whole store was like a big square and then there was a square within the square with the, with the, like the the drapes, you know? And then you had to go through there and it was like, the size of a you know an AMPM or something, it and there was up. just so much porn, and it was packed <laughs> full of people. Like it was like you was just you were like at a Trader Joe's. That's how many people were next to you, just oh, no. looking at porn. Everyone's oh, just hey, how's it damn. going? Hey, how you doing? It was just oh, hey, Bob. Porn. <laughs> it was crazy, dude. Just it, videos, just like picking out what they're gonna just rent. Videos. It was all wow. rentals. I guess you could buy some too. I don't know. Uh, we didn't because um, we we didn't. You know, the, there was the internet existed at the time and yeah you, i mean it was slow downloads but you yeah. could <laughs> so That's we strange but then we go play mr q's billiards and we get there and it was just a mess of a show the host was like this kid and he it, like the, like not the host but the promoter was like a kid and it was and he was like yeah my buddy's gonna open uh oh. it was gonna be his buddy and then us and then the aquabats and we're like okay and uh we we go in and um what, what music does your buddy play Oh, he doesn't really play music. He's like a performance artist. Oh, uh, my goodness. What did his buddy do? His buddy uh, walked on nails what? and Whoa. broke glass on his face. Whoa. And ate glass. Now, this is the show. Oh. And was <laughs> bleeding all over the this stage. This should be the closer. Oh. <laughs> like, just blood everywhere. And then he gets done, and they're like, all right, guys, go set up. With the blood on the stage? What if we didn't? Yeah. Uh, it was the weirdest fucking show ever. And it was like, in the crowd, 
hated everybody except for the dude who did the nails shit. Oh, they like that. Love that guy. He's a late. <laughs> as soon as favorite. we started playing, they couldn't have been more pissed off that we they were wanted playing the nails music. Guy back. And they even hated the Aquabats. Like they didn't like the Aquabats wow. at all. It was just, it was the weirdest show. Well, I, I still maintain I was at a show that everyone hated you, and that ended up being, I think, my favorite show. What was that? I ever saw you guys at. Uh, was the um, when you guys opened for MC Chris? Oh yeah, and that crowd that crowd was like mad the whole time. Yeah. Me and Garrett were yeah. like, "Oh hell yeah, bad credit is opening. This rules." That was super and you fun. guys came out, and yeah, we were like, "Is everyone around us like mad or something?" <laughs> oh my god, what does MC Chris go on? Oh my god, these guys are annoying. Ugh. And you guys uh, made your microphone stands as uh, tall as possible. Yeah, that was a good gimmick. And, like, like you were adjusting it a bunch at first, and then you were like, ah, fuck it. That was my switch. Dude. I know. I'm sorry. Dumped, dumped oh, my switch right on the ground. An fuck. That's okay. You're good thing it's in a case. It. Uh, yeah, good thing it's in the case that we so lovingly made for Black Friday. Oh, wow. You can still order, right? No, it's down. Fuck. It's down. But you, you can order down, this. Sean. $15. You can still <laughs> oh, do this. $15. But anyway, you guys kept messing with the, the height of your mic stand and then eventually just went, no, make it as big as possible. And you made it as tall as possible. And then you were jumping up to, <laughs> to, sing, to rap yeah. into the microphone. And they yeah, were like, great. and people around us seriously were like, these guys think they're fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> Where is MC Chris? Where is he? I, mean, I want to hear MC P pants. Yeah. You, they, know. you know what's funny about that show is that uh, we hung out with MC Chris that night and he was very, very, he was so funny. And we bonded over our mutual hate for MC Paul Barnum. Do you guys remember MC Paul Barnum? I don't know. I don't know Paul Barnum. We had just played a show with MC Paul Barnum at the Casbah. Okay. It was like this nerdcore thing, you know? Yeah. Like, who that was, was that one thing. dude that was like popular? MC Chris, I thought was no, the well, one. MC, MC Chris, Lars? MC Lars. Yeah. Yeah. MC Lars yeah. was like, he, and we were like at the very beginning of this whole thing. Yeah. And, uh, we played with MC Paul Barnum, who was like an internet, like MC Chris, same kind of thing. Sure. He rapped about like theoretical physics and stuff. Like that was cool. his thing. Oh yeah. And uh, holy shit, he was a dick. <laughs> and like to the point where literally like our Jake, our drummer, almost punched him his heart. And he's like a little scrawny guy and Jake's a giant man. He's a fucking Viking. And I, I thought Jake was going to, throw him against the wall and like punch him like he was such a dick to us it was so crazy and we're like dude no one was even you're a headliner and no one came out like this is an empty fucking show oh, like no you, nobody gives a shit about you it was we got in this huge fight <laughs> so crazy and then so yeah when we hung out with mc chris like a few months later he was like yeah MC, he's like paul's a dickhead and we started fighting about or we're talking about paul barnum you bonded and then we bonded we hung out we went yes. we went to chili's afterwards in lancaster and Th that's one thing we've never experienced is sharing the green room. That is, yeah, true. we've and never had to what? do that. Well, you never tore, we just tore with each other. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't have an but opener. There have been like, it's so wild to me. And I never thought about this before, but like, it's, you don't know what you're walking into every single night. Cause it's like, what's the video yeah. look like? I have no idea. Oh, yeah. What's the green room situation? And like, sometimes no idea. like the show in Vancouver, th it was like a three by three cube. And yeah, there's that, a green room. That was and it's a like, terrible oh, this is the room, smallest yeah. place. Like, how would, a, other band ever be in here or yeah. whatever like how yeah. would you do this yeah, 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 yeah. it's crazy yeah. well we, we played a lot us. of shows where people didn't you didn't even have a we didn't have a green room you're in the yeah. parking lot at yeah, Soma. Just I like, well, that. the Aquabats are in here or you know like mad caddies are in here and you guys are just you know whoever you want to be <laughs> in yeah, your van oh, uh, cool <laughs> yeah. all i remember uh, i never saw mc lars i wasn't super familiar with this stuff but i know that back in the very beginning like the early mega 64 days he showed our tetris video at all his shows because every time he did a show, I would get emails that were like, holy shit, we watched oh, that's your Tetris rad. video. And the, uh, the, I thought that was totally cool. But I was also like, I wish, I, not that he needed to ask, you know, whatever. Because we show crazy shit at our show yeah, we don't ask. that we don't ask about. No. But I wanted to like, well, maybe I could talk to him or something at least. I, I was, you know. You would give I, a better quality version of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, or something like that. and, and or, or anything else if he wanted to show it. Because I had heard about him a bunch. So I emailed him once or so and didn't hear anything and then someone was like i i said something about that and someone was like oh i know him i'll connect you but all but like all he said in the email was hey like i was like oh i don't know what to respond with dude how are you how are you and i just never replied i just did oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, i got one email right. from him that said hey <laughs> hey 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 uh, what, well, what's it. the city but, you guys don't want to go back to um i really think <laughs> lay it out no 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 like there, everywhere we went and they toured, it was like you, you, different vibe, obviously, every place. And I think that, like, 
it was never the city itself that I had the problem with or like it was just like the crowds were always I thought great. Yeah. But there's times where it's like this is a weird place. And mostly I felt like places we were going to like in between the main cities, like Little America, Wyoming. Like we were talking sure. about that. But like that was like I got to get out of here. That like, was a truck stop. I can't yeah, 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 but I can't I can't hang here. Like this is making me uncomfortable. Yeah. Um I'm trying to think of a city that it's like fuck this city. Do we have that? Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I was wondering if you were maybe yeah. not saying it on the. Thing. Oh, we do so have it. I I thought. So, oh, but. oh wow! I love. Uh, it. Do you, you want to say the Are you show afraid to tick off the city? <laughs> the show the show was great, but Salt Lake City had a very weird energy. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, there was we a weird flo- vibe. We flown in there that, and okay. had a bad experience where it was like we thought the plane was going to fall out of the sky. Mm-hmm. So already we were like, uh, uh-uh, Salt Lake City, no, 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 no. And then we did the show there. And the show was fine. It wasn't, um, you know, we've talked before about what we did show, like show in like Indianapolis where yeah. it was like, this venue is like a cursed temple. This is some uh, uh, <laughs> from Dust Till Dawn shit. Like we shouldn't be fun. in here. I guess Indianapolis uh, it was like the titty there. twister in that place. Yeah. yeah. Or, and that was a case of the venue. Yeah. But uh, Salt Lake City, really perfectly fine venue. The had venue a, was great. They had, had a great dog, show. Yeah. A, a venue dog oh, that dog was fucking was awesome. cute as shit. Okay, see, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna disagree on that. Loved Sound was that. great. I don't, need, I don't need an animal going through my shit. That it did, uh, but, <laughs> it did not go through the dog. So, uh, that's just uh, that's just me. Wow. But um, the venue was fine. No, it was totally. They were very very nice there, um, and all that stuff. And the, the and the show was good, but it was weirdly like, hey everyone, you know, in every city, it's like, what's the thing to check out? What should we do? And it's almost overflowing for every city. Like San Francisco, what should we do? Oh my God, if you guys are doing the Alcatraz thing, right when you get off the boat, go here, 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 and here. And then you go to this and, whoa, we just found ourselves in Coppola's screening room. Well, you know what I mean? Like every city had a potential adventure. Mm. And then I feel like when when we were heading to Salt Lake City, it's like, what should we do? Yeah, I don't know. They, um, we did get well, a lot let's, of let's ask some people, what, what should we do? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, you know, and then, and then, uh, oh, maybe we'll go here. It's closed. Well, we'll, we'll do this. Oh, that's not open a weekend. You want to go on a weekend? Are you joking? You know what I mean? It was just the whole vibe there was like, what are we doing? Like, what is this? We played, so, but it was a very beautiful place. So we know. played Salt Lake a lot and we played this one venue. I forget what it was called. It was like the cube or some shit. It, they literally, every year we went, they renamed it something oh, else. Oh, interesting. And we went one, so we go one year and we're like, we play this place and it was like really, it was a really cool venue. Like half of it was outside. It was really fun. And it was like snowing. So it was just like a really cool oh. like vibe that was, it was at, and like every show I've ever played in Salt Lake. Very cool crowd. Yeah. Very fun. Yeah, we like, had a great time. Great time. We leave, the, the, the show is early. I think we we're done by like nine, maybe eight. Yeah. And we were like, Okay, well, let's go. Next, we went next door to this like restaurant that looked pretty good, and we got some food. We left our gear, and they're mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, you can just pick up your gear when you come back. It's fine." All right, cool. We lay, we go get food. We come back. The venue changed into a like nightclub. What? Whoa. And they like they're like, "Yeah, just go ahead and get your gear." And then we went and got gear, and it was like a. It was like a like a club from like a John Wick movie. Like literally, like <laughs> uh-huh. at some point, like cages were put up and, what? Pe- and dancers were in the cages in like wearing nothing. There was <laughs> every like, dude, yes, dude. And none of that was there before. No. Uh-huh. It was like literally like we were in a venue. We left the venue and within an hour it was a nightclub. The cube. That's what oh. it's called. The cube. Wow. They know. <laughs> Someone knew. And, <laughs> and it so was funny. like <laughs> and dude, it was like crazy it, we, we hung out like me and rick our bass player and, and gorney like we were there for like hours because it was so fun it was really really fun oh, wow. and like we got up like got uh dave actually got into the cage with one of the dancers what? was like dancing in the cage with them That's dude wild. it was a blast and then we leave at like 11 30 or something like that we leave or maybe later i don't know what it was and there was like a, a mexican food place and uh we walk up to it we like went because they it was closed but the drive thru was open and we have a car. So uh-huh. we like walked up to the drive thru and we're like, can we just order from here? And the lady like looked at us like we were the craziest people on earth. Yeah. And she was like, no, you can't. And I'm like, but you're not open inside, but you're yeah. open here. We don't have a car. She goes, well, sorry, we can't serve people through the window. I, what and is we're that? Like, uh, no, what? I hate oh, that. Okay. That's been that too. way forever. Yeah. Yeah. It's so it's weird. So, many places. so Jake ran over <laughs> to the car that was in the ordering and just gave them money and gave oh, them the order. Oh, that's awesome. Slated. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> but it's weird, man. Salt Lake's weird. Outside of that experience with the cube, everywhere we've gone, 
in Salt Lake has been the same thing where it's like yeah. everything's closed. Yeah. Like yeah. It, it, it's it, weird. it you, wasn't it really wasn't like this cursed town. It it was just I think we were so spoiled by all the other well, it wasn't cities even, that it, we felt it uh, wasn't. Was even, your, I was excited to go to Salt Lake City because I've never been. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm and sure. I've been to I've been to St. George when we filmed Aquabat stuff and yeah, yeah. St. George was cool. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. It was it looked neat. You know, like and so I was, was ready for it to be there, more yeah. scenic. And then Salt Lake, I was oh, like, like, oh, flat. I want to go like to the Olympic Training Center. Like, let's go there. Mm. And it was like, oh, that's like an hour away. I'm like, yeah. oh, this oh, Salt Lake fuck. seemed like a grid. It seemed like <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. We go. Mm. Uh, just we, seemed like a city. We're going this year for New Year's to, to right outside of Salt Lake. But usually when we go, we have friends that live outside of Salt Lake. And we've gone a few times. But when we go, we usually go to Park City. We just drive up to Park City. Okay. Park City. city. Park city. Uh, which is cool. But there's also like, there is a lot better restaurants in Salt Lake now. Mm. And uh, there's cool stuff to see when it's snowing. But yeah, I think that's what yeah, it was. Yeah, there's like a, if it's snowing, then like, it's cool. You can, like, there's a bunch of sledding you can do and skiing and snowboarding and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, man, High West, like the High West Distillery in Park City is super amazing. Mm. Um, but yeah, dude, it's just like, I, I feel like there's, yeah, there's like a, the religious vibe is always present and you sure. can't really escape it. And it's, it, it is, it is like, there's also it, a fentanyl vibe too. Well, it's just like <laughs> everything's gonna be closed. <laughs> at, fentanyl vibe. Once the sun is set, you need to go home. Oh, vibe in that. There yeah. was that. Oh, oh, you want to go yeah. here on Sunday? Shame on you. Yeah, it, it was like yeah, a weird vibe. I but know. I will say, for me, my least favorite state we've ever been to, and every time we go, I I gotta get the fuck out of here. Is Indiana? Gotta get out of Indiana. Yeah, Indiana, not an Indiana that fan. Last tour we talked about. Yeah, Pittsburgh. I thought Gary, Indiana was cool. Gary, Indiana was terrifying. <laughs> La Last of Us vibes. I love. Dude, I like I've <laughs> never. <laughs> I'm a gamer. I like. I've it. never experienced a place like Indiana. And every time I, it's like either those gigantic um, wind turbines, which is fine, but it's yeah. nothing but that and yeah, Dollar General, and that's it. And it's. It's a weird-ass place. I'm done with wind. I want to go back to clean coal. Really <laughs> yeah, clean, was clean coal. coal. Speaking of clean coal, Tenga <laughs> was, uh, is... Um, was Salt yeah. Lake where the zombie tried to like get into the van? And that was Salt tell Lake. Jokes. Yes, yeah. that was Salt Lake. The during the day gas station, you know, stop. I forgot about that. Was like a bit harrowing because yeah, half of us are in the van, half of us are still in the convenience store, and a dude is like shambling towards the van, and he's like, "What are you guys doing?" He's like so out of it. He's slurring all his words. Uh, we're comedy troupe. Yeah, we're just going. We're at it. We're we're playing a show. But the we're whole time you know. he has his hand. Oh yeah, he's concealing his hand like in like this. A bag. Like he's holding something in a bag. Yeah, and he's like he's pump. got like a cross body bag, and his hand is in it. And so he's like, I'm getting vibes. Yeah, like, man. Is he playing drunk That's or high scary, and he's dude. about to like pull a and, gun out? And then he's like, tell me a joke. Yeah. And it's like, oh, oh, yeah. Comedy truth. You know what? We're all out of jokes here. Tell me a joke. We're all out of jokes. And then so he started like going in. Like, the, the van door is open. He's like walking towards it like he's going to get in. And I think Garrett just went, nope. And it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I felt bad just kind of slamming the door in this dude's face. But honestly, he was though, if, you, what, if, if it wasn't tripping. for like the holding your hand, like hiding yeah, something, I was yeah. like, I don't know what the fuck you're holding, dude. Also, yeah, we're comedy group all right tell me a joke like oh fuck. what's in the back i oh, don't know man some boxes of stuff what's it what's stuff you what's know what it, luggage what's in your bag <laughs> dirty laundry i don't know <laughs> salt lake was just a bit have off. you guys ever been to provo pro where's that no Utah. provo Utah? oh no yeah no. all right yeah provo's is it beautiful there well so provo's we, i went to like a convention there uh when i was working for youtube and there was like a uh, they do this weird convention there. It's all Mormon uh, bloggers and vloggers. <laughs> okay. Um, and Provo is in a valley. And I didn't know this happens in Provo. But Provo, uh, every day at like noon, all of the uh, smog comes rolling into Provo. Oh. And it looks like a wildfire. What? And it literally, I was like, what? Is happening, <laughs> and I asked somebody like, "Oh yeah, that's just how it is every day." That's it just rolls noon. through, rolls through, and it goes out. And I was like, "Dude!" And it was super scary. But there's like a block in Provo that has these amazing restaurants, but they're like they have temples everywhere. So like salt, like what people think Salt Lake is is Provo, where it's like the only alcohol you can get is in like little tiny cans. Oh, so then you just okay. have to buy like double the alcohol because you're like, "What is that <laughs> going to stop me from doing?" <laughs> yeah. And like there's and then this little section. Had all these great restaurants, 
but it was all by uh, temples and you can't have alcohol within like a thousand feet of a temple. Oh, so none, so of, the none of the restaurants had alcohol. Holy oh, shit. And so I go to the, we went to this place. I had like friends, my friends who live in Utah, like they came and hung out and they took me to this place that was like this country down home, like amazing fucking food. Like I had uh, chicken and waffles and it was just oh. like this, it was so good. And the waitress comes over and is like, you don't have beer, do you? And she goes, no, we don't have any alcohol. And I was like, oh, man, like a beer would be perfect with this. Could I get a beer? And she goes, I, we don't have any in the building. I was like, what if I brought in a beer? And she was like, I mean, I'd have to kick you out if I saw it. And I said, like, okay, what if you went and bought me a beer? I was like, what if I gave you money right now? What? And you look <laughs> the other way. Or if I gave you money and you went and bought me a beer. And she goes, I, I couldn't do that. And I was like, I'll give you $300 if Whoa. you go right now. And just go buy me a beer and bring it in here. And you can put it in a different cup. You can do whatever you want to do in the kitchen. I don't have to know what it is. Just go give me whatever beer you want. <laughs> and she literally goes, I'm not. I, I can't do that. And oh. my buddy was with me. He goes, I'll throw in another $200. What? Oh, <laughs> if, you get go, if you just go and do this. <laughs> and and she was bro. like, and I'm like, is it a moral thing? Like, are you, you know, are you against drinking? Because that would make sense. I don't yeah, want to yeah. put you in that. She's like, no, no, I don't care. I'm not Mormon at all. And I was like, okay, then. Five hundred dollars. If you what? go, you can go. Just go get a beer, or we can bring in a beer, and you just don't. And she's like, "There's no. I'll get fired. There's absolutely no way." And I was like, "All right." And then we didn't do it. So oh, didn't do it. for <laughs> five. But I literally was just guns. like, "I know." I somebody said, "Literally, devil." We are. We were like, "Ah, come on, go get us the beer." <laughs> Three hundred dollars for that's how much you wanted that beer five. with the chicken and waffles. Well, I mean, like, it was more just a curiosity. It was if she would have done it, it would have been great. It would have been so fun, and it would have tasted amazing. What a great story, too. And that's yeah. But she didn't do it. And then I went and I peed on the temple. So that wow, no, wow. I'm just, I didn't do that. I didn't no. pee all on the, the way temple. to the gold. I would literally go to hell if I was peeing on the temple. Yeah, no, yeah Provo's a weird, weird town, man. Yeah, we we uh we we dressed like uh, characters from Bayonetta and Wonderful 101, and um ran around and uh, screamed at people and stuff uh, for a video when we were in Japan, and then only found out once we said cut. Our translator said, yeah, so that was a holy ground that you were on uh, <laughs> when you went through the, 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 the that temple was, grounds. See the, um, that, that's uh, the sacred arch. Yeah, see the arch that you went through? Oh, right. You were on gates. a holy. Yeah. So yeah. I probably would not use that footage. Don't use that footage. Um, and dude. then we said, like, think, your job was to stop us from doing why? that. Why? Yeah. 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 Well, you were just going. We <laughs> you were really, gotta stop we us. We were really entertained by it, but I would just probably not include that footage. <laughs> oh, and she pulls out the, or they pull out the tango they were using. I was distracted by the tango. I didn't know you guys were on. I used the tango. Tango last night. Oh, hey, man. Speaking of plugs, guy, once again, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for thank you, Tenga. Click the link in the description to Tenga yourself. However, I want to say thanks to us. Oh, shop.mega64.com. Go to the website, pick something up. You know, we did our whole big Black Friday sale, all our Black Friday stuff. Well, sales closed. Sorry. Yo. All that stuff came down. A lot of it's sold out. Mm -hmm. um, I, can I say, it, it, at this second, please, yeah. Kevin is not behind camera. Go to Kev cam real quick, Johnny, if you, if what, you may. What's it even at? I don't, oh, it's, it, on it's, it's on like Rocco. That. How about that? Like it, it doesn't move, though. But it's not moving because Kevin is here and he is shipping out Black Friday merch That's as right. we speak. Yes, yeah, in the you, other Kevin. room. Shipping stuff. Uh, I liked how you called it our Big Black Friday. Yeah. That was good. Mm -hmm. BBF. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we put all kinds of stuff out. Our uh, Mega 64 in five minutes Blu-ray, that is actually still in stock, as well as we dropped a little holiday merch drop what? this week. Um, and these are all in stock. They're first come, first serve, so a lot of it did sell out already. But if you want this for the holidays, it'll ship now. You, got, you, you only have a little bit of time to get them. Uh, the Claws and Effect hoodie, the Merchant Long Sleeve, the Impossible 64 hoodie, the Mind Control tie-dye shirt. All of those are top-tier items. I have, uh, I have that gold oh, 64 yeah. hoodie. Oh, yeah. And I've gotten several compliments Hell on yeah. it when I wear it out. It's, it's got gold print on it. It's, it's, a it's good, premium. Keeps I'm, you warm. I'm wearing the Claws and Effect. This is one of my favorite holiday garments I like mm. to wear. Yeah. Um, but like I said, we're not reprinting these. We have a limited amount, and then they're gone. So if you want it for the holidays... Shop.mega64.com. Again, Pick Kevin it up. has promised me. He said, Sean, I'm going to get those orders out ASAP. Oh, yeah. These, if you order this now, ASAP. He's devoted. ASAP, baby. Uh, also, our Mega64 in five minutes Blu-ray, like I said. that's That we kept up. We made a lot of copies of it. Uh, they're lasting for now. 
for now. Uh, most of them sold out, but we've got some. The bundles are out. all gone. Uh, yeah, believe. the bundles that we did for Black Friday, donezo. Yeah. But the Blu-ray on its own, you could still get that. Now, we're doing something a little, I don't think there's any secrets. So I'll just talk about it now, even though it's not up for our Twitch viewers. But it will be when you're watching this on YouTube. We are oh, yeah. putting up our Evangelion saga on YouTube as one big video. Mm -hmm. Now, you can what? watch them on Blu-ray like this. You can watch it as one continuous movie, should you so choose. Um, but we're putting that on our YouTube channel. Um, you can watch the complete series front to back all together. In one go. In one go. We filmed it in one go. Might as well watch it in one go. Exactly. Might as well. And uh, like I said, you could get all of that, plus hours of behind the scenes and other stuff uh, that's never even made it online will never be online. Commentary from us on the Mega 64 in five minutes Blu-ray. So check that out, pick that up. Yeah. Also, patreon.com slash Mega 64, another great way to support the show and get exclusive stuff. We put up all kinds of stuff um, this last week. Uh, me and Derek played uh, Hi-Fi Rush. People kept, I, we kept complaining, oh, Xbox doesn't have any, have any exclusives. Oh, uh, there's nothing new to play. It's all old franchises that they keep bringing back. People kept yelling, yo, Play Hi-Fi Rush, dummy. Oh, so me and Derek did. Yeah. We played it almost an hour. Wow. The whole the play the playthrough is on there. It's about almost an hour long video. And uh it was really cool. That was a really cool game that I okay. did not really know much about. So that's on there. We did Mega 64 Movie Club on From Dusk Till Dawn. That yeah. was a good I'd time. Never seen that's, that before. that's going up right now. Any any second now. That that'll be up. Um, we got all kinds of stuff. So I did a new record club yeah. on the Yeah, Yeah, Yeah's Fever to Tell. That was number, I think, 377 yeah. on the list or something. 300, like okay. Yeah. I think so. So Have you seen Meet Me in the Bathroom? I literally was talking about that with Johnny, and uh, I've not seen it. I'm oh, okay. dying to see it. Have you seen it? I have. I saw I, it. On, I watched it on a plane. The did way you? That they intended me to see it. That, yeah. See, that, I love plane movies. That's a uh, perfect plane movie. Perfect plane movie. Yeah. I've been recommended that a ton, too. I it's not. To see it. Let me see that. Have you seen the Dandy Warhol's uh, Brian Tones Down Massacre uh, documentary that I came not, out like no. a decade ago? Mm. It's People try to compare the two. That one is better. The Dandy Warhol's Brian Jones Town one is one of the greatest documentaries music documentaries yeah. of all time interesting okay. uh meet me in the bathroom is just a cool telling of an era of music that you probably didn't know mm -hmm. existed okay if okay. that makes sense like the strokes and the iaas and lcd sound system and, and the moldy peaches moldy peaches and uh what was the other one like interpol and shit oh interpol yeah. and tv on the radio tv on the radio like all those bands you for me i feel like when i was because i was a djing in 94 9 when all those bands were really famous and i was like these bands are all just corporate. They just showed up. They do. They're all boy bands that were built. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. a feeling that I had at the time because yeah. they all are so similar. But this documentary proved me very oh. wrong, and it wow. was very cool to see them all just be just kids. be like huh. shitty little kid bands and try to figure it out. And yeah, yeah. The you LCD know, sound system <clears throat> story is like one of the greatest stories. When ever. Rocco was telling about um, seeing bad credit and you guys were trying to fucking. Make, we're you, trying to fuck. You trying to fuck? <laughs> Hell yeah! We're we're the, the, we are jumping up with the mics because the audience is already mad. It's like, oh, fuck oh yeah, them, yeah, yeah, fuck this audience. Yeah, 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 just, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's when I saw the Moni Peaches live. That's what they were. They were like, oh fuck everyone here. <laughs> and I, <laughs> um, I loved that. Saw, I, I was into it. We went to see the Strokes and Eagles of Death Metal open for them. Oh, that's true. And it was the same way. The Strokes fans were booing <laughs> them. Yeah. And we were like, what? These guys kick ass. What? Yeah. What was everyone doing? And they remember every song with. All right, this one's for the ladies. Da, da, da. <laughs> and then the next song, hey guys, yeah. This one's for the ladies. Da, 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 da. And that was the infamous show that yeah. the guy yelled, You're no. not the Beatles. Uh, and it was, With, we said that every concert since. The Molded Peaches started and they were playing. And then they lost the crowd. And so they started sitting down and playing. And then by the end, they were laying down and playing. <laughs> and it was fucking awesome. I and I was like an so. instant fan. I love it. Wait, there's a great picture of uh, Bad Credit at one time. We played the belly up for the first time. And uh, people couldn't have hated us more oh, at yeah. the belly up. And so uh, Matt and I just hid under the drum riser for the entire show. <laughs> like Two songs in, people were just standing there so mad. And we're like, all right. So we just went under the drum riser and just talked to each other during songs. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're like, fuck these guys. We're not going to. Yeah. No, no, we're not buying. And that's selling CDs after the show. Like, no there, one cares. You know, I, you know, I'm sure you're doing stand up too. Like, I have just started to encounter this with you see a person in the audience and oh. you can tell. They're not yeah. having a good Arms time. Arms folded. Yeah. They're yeah. mad. Yeah. Frown. And it's the worst. Like, yeah, how, because how do you, because for me, it, 
I still think about this one person who was yeah. just fucking pissed the yeah. entire show, <laughs> arms crossed, and yeah. like would not give me anything, yeah. smile anything. <laughs> and it's like, what do you do with that? See, for you guys, it's funny though because you, this, it, it's your show, right? Yeah. So why the fuck are they there? That's well, they're, what they're, they're, hey, it's always <laughs> it's. I won't say always, but ninety eight percent of the time, it's a girlfriend dragged there. Oh, uh, maybe. Well, maybe that's what the case was. I, well, uh, there have been vice versas though too. I, I have seen that's her. a yeah, rare yeah, where, vice versa. Where it's a girl, a it's a, you know, fans. and and it's uh, yeah, a uh, boyfriend has never heard of us, but the girlfriend has, you know, yeah. w- watched it. It's someone know, that brought someone. Sometimes it's a friend it's or a significant now, whatever. Other bring, yeah, yeah, but I yeah. I focus in on it, especially like a couple shows into the tour where I get a little more comfortable and I'm actually looking out into the audience. Mm-hmm. I look for that person, and it's like they're always in like the third row. Yeah, they're so close. They're so close. Uh, I can tell you from uh, it is. I've had shows where I it's been packed and I've destroyed, mm-hmm. like utterly destroyed, where you go, this is why I do this. Yeah. This yeah, is why I put yeah, myself yeah. out there. Sure. This was one of the greatest nights I've ever had in my entire life. Yes. And oh. there was one person in the crowd that was just looked pissed the whole time. And that's the only thing I'll think about. Yeah, that's, that's uh, it. Uh, I'll only uh, think yeah. about that guy. Yeah. I literally could get a standing ovation and I'll be like, that one guy though, or that one girl was just not happy. That, why? Why? And so what I started doing was I started uh, talking to them. On yes. I, I want. I was yeah. that close. Yeah. I was like, "Are you okay?" So I immediately, <laughs> I I seriously, I wanted when we because yeah. we end every show with a uh, like our show was typically is like about an hour of a written thing. We have sketches, or you know, a lot of it's improv, but sketches and things like that. And then after that hour, we come out just as ourselves and tell stories and talk and show videos. And during that section, I kept thinking, I'm like. We could find out what's going on. We could <laughs> Why get, are you we so could mad? get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Well, it's it, um, like I now I just I don't even give it like I'll just I'll do like three jokes in. And if I see somebody that's not having a good time, I'll immediately just go to that person and start talking to them. Because oftentimes like, you find out yeah. it's not as bad oh. as you think it is. Oh, sure. Okay. It's almost always like, no, I'm, I'm having a good time. And you're like. Oh, well, Sometimes. you should you should like be happy then if yeah. you're having good time. Oh, <laughs> Why yeah, don't sorry, you man. smile like, more, which is always I, a great thing no, to say. No, I don't you know, think we like, should I'm just tired. Or, or I'll be like, what do you want me to talk about? And like, what do you want? What, what do you think is funny? And then they'll like say something and then we'll just do, we'll start going and just do something off the cuff. But like, I, I've had, <laughs> I'll tell you this story. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to tell you a story? Did you want me to ramble? I, I want you to tell me a story. Oh, yeah. One of the worst things ever, by the way, Fifteen dollars. You can get this CD. If you like this $15. story, we, get we got section, more stories. Uh, is in it? Oh, it's done. Okay, fifteen dollars. You can just message me on any social media. The Keith Herring egg. Thank you. You get a free, Tango. exclusive link to a secret album that uh, has unreleased bad credit songs on. Um, so that's this true. So uh, I was doing the show, The Whistle Stop. The Whistle Stop used to do the show called Fuck Alt Comedy. Okay, and um. I did a bit. Now, I'm going to preface this. This is the worst idea for a bit I've ever had in my life. And it turned into one of the best ideas or the best <laughs> things ever. <laughs> pack crowd, huge, like not a no, no empty seats, huge pack crowd. Um, a guy named um, uh, um, uh, Matt, Mc, Matt McCarthy headlined. So funny. He does like sketches with Pete Holmes and stuff. He's very, very funny. Uh, but I was up for him. And this guy in the front was having the worst time the entire time. And I was doing this stupid bit where I was playing music and I was, it's a bad, bad bit. It was very dumb where I was like, I, it, it, the only thing that makes, the reason why we don't like shootings is because we just, they're just too serious. Mm-hmm. So we'll just, we just need to desensitize ourselves to the sound of gunshots. Oh, you brought this up on our podcast. Yeah, so yeah, I did. Because we did so, a bit. After that, with the gun app. Yeah, yeah, so I did a dumb thing, and it didn't work. It did not work. Okay. I'm laughing. Like, it, there was, like, the comics in the back were laughing. Everybody <laughs> else was just staring at me. So it was fine. And I was like, okay, I have lost this crowd. So I started going into a new bit where I was just, like, I was just trying to figure this out. And, like, slowly getting everybody back in, slowly getting the crowd back. And this guy was sitting there just in the front so pissed off, so angry. Yeah. Like, just, like stink like arms crossed stink eye and i'm like what's up man i was like why are you so pissed off and he was just like well, i didn't like what you were doing earlier and i was like well i'm not doing that anymore i'm doing this <laughs> stuff now i was like so let's move on and he was like and he was just mad he was like well fine yeah i don't i just you're just not funny to me 
And I'm like, I'm not funny. Okay, that's fine, dude. I don't have to be funny to you. I'm gonna be funny to everybody else. All right. But if you can you leave if you're gonna just be <laughs> <laughs> because here's the thing, like I have a I have a little switch where and my wife, this is why my wife doesn't really come to shows anymore. Because it's either gonna go like I'm gonna have a fun time or, or I'm gonna lose my shit. And I might get into a fist fight uh-huh. with the person afterwards. And I was just going back and forth on that switch with this asshole. And we're going back and forth. And then, like, I'm like, dude, in his, I found out, like, I started talking, I found out his girlfriend was with him next to him. They were sitting there. His girlfriend was laughing. And then I just started really, like, going in on the guy, like, mm-hmm. ripping in the guy, like, everything, like, everything I could think of, I was just ripping on the guy. Really, really, really making it awful for him. Yeah. And then he was just like sitting there and he was getting really like even more visibly angry. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I'm sorry. I know this is hard. So let me lighten the mood. So I went over to the, my my phone and I started playing uh, Call Me Maybe, that Carly or Jepsen song. Yeah, yeah. And I was playing it really loud while I just started, kept shitting on the guy, <laughs> which to me is the funniest thing I've ever done. While that <laughs> song plays and I'm just like ripping dude, into this I guy. Just you. And, uh, it, he was just sitting there pissed off. The crowd was like losing it. They were having so much fun. <laughs> yeah. It was very, very fun, right? I'm done. I get the crowd back on my side after that. I'm done. Uh, and the guy comes up to me at the end of the show stuff. And he was just like, dude, he's like, that was fucked up, blah, blah, blah. And he's mad at him. I'm like, dude, just get the fuck away from me. Like, why are you even coming oh. up to me? Why would you uh, even walk up to me? And he was just like, that was just fucked up. And I was like, no, it wasn't. It wasn't fucked up. You're at a show. You're sitting in the front. You're being a dick. And he's like, oh, whatever. And he walks out. 20 minutes later, after Matt McCarthy's done with his set, uh, I see him and his girlfriend fighting at the door and his oh. girlfriend walks out and leaves by herself. Oh. And he's all alone. And I was like, that's what you fucking get, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking get. You son of a bitch. You just ruined my whole fucking show. It, I was so pissed off at him and I was so happy that I literally ruined his night to the point where his girlfriend left she him. Left. Him at the that's point. awesome. Uh, like, that's what you get for being a piece of shit, man. Yeah. If you're at a show, just don't say anything. If you're pissed and having a bad time, what are you going to get from yelling yeah. at the comments? I don't get yeah, let me, that. Let me take that, out that, that. The whole heckling thing is so beyond anything I could even fathom. Yeah. Like, well, it's why? a drunk thing. It's a drunk thing. It's that mainly a drunk thing. It's a drunk thing. But a lot, and then they yeah. do this. I'm helping you. Oh, I'm they. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, are that's you? Got the professional here. There's a guy, uh, do you know Maria Bamford? You know yeah, Bamford? Oh, I love her. One of the greatest comics ever. And she, I did, a, I was fortunate enough to, one, very, very like audibly and forcefully try to get on a show with her because <laughs> she's just one of the greatest ever. Uh-huh. And I got to open for her and she was talking to me in the back about, it was like a Wednesday night show. And I was like, why aren't you doing a weekend? Like you could do a whole, you, like you could sell this. She's like, oh, I know. She's like, but I don't do weekend shows anymore. Why would I want to be around a bunch of drunks? And I'm like, Oh, and she's like, yeah, I'll just do Wednesdays and Sundays because I oh, know that I can sell those crowd. out. And yeah, they've come for me. They're here yes, for me. So that's why would smart. I? They're, they're, they know who I am. And I'm like, God, that's genius. <laughs> yeah. And that's what she does. She just yeah. does odd nights, sells them out and does theaters now. She's so smart. And that's yeah. why it's weird for me, you guys. Like, why would anybody come to the Mega 64 show and just sit there and be like, man. Yeah, like, I mean, I honestly yeah. it's w- It's too. always just one, two. And it's, but it's like... You you have to be. You had no idea what we were. You gotta be dragged. If you do there. know who yeah. we are, we pretty much give you what you expect. I think. Yeah. You know, like it's it's us. It's just always someone who got brought there for sure. Yeah. I I, I think. Um. I know. I have a friend who, on our first tour, uh, was in town for a certain show. Was like, oh my gosh, this is great. I'm in town with a bunch of friends I haven't seen in forever, and and then she brought those friends to the show. Like, let's all go to that show. Oh, they and, all. Uh, they came. all hated it <laughs> except her so it was like group of, group against one yeah you know <laughs> like you brought us to this and it was like oh um so i think sometimes that just happens yeah but i do think that like you know if you go if you get dragged to a show you gotta give it a shot make the most of like, it well, also like, like maybe yeah. google what it is yeah google what it is yeah. or even if you want to go in completely blind and not know what it is like Try to get in the spirit of going yeah. to a show and just not being fucking pissed. Yeah, that's why were you? Oh, why were you so mad at me? Match <laughs> the vibe. Match the vibe of the room. Everyone around you's giggling and laughing. Hey, join in. That's what I like. Literally, I've, I've. This is. I'll say this publicly. Yeah, I have a few times now told you guys if you ever wanted an opener for your shows that I would that's come. True. Open and do we, the set. You have said that. And yeah, but and, I saw you open for MC Chris. And I don't want those. <laughs> I don't want those kind of tricks. And I know? literally go, I but I literally do stuff. think to myself, like, I don't know how it would go, 
<laughs> and I don't know it like it, that thing where it's like they're there for Mega 64. I'm going to come out and do some jokes and people are going to be like, what the fuck is this guy? And then I'm going <laughs> to lose my shit. And, it's gonna be like, <laughs> and it'll just be a mess. Uh, it, it, but it would be like it would be a very, very interesting like um, experiment to see how like, your audience would react to just somebody our, coming out and fucking around. Our fans have. I mean, you've been around forever. Yeah. He, in in this circle, a hundred years old. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm saying like in with us, you've been around since yeah, the yeah, beginning. Yeah. Totally. You know, you been, I don't know, like episode the first podcast you were on, but it was probably I was the Patriot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You've been around. Yeah. So I just feel like I, I think they would. Be excited to see you as well. It would be I fun. I mean, most of the time, like now, because I don't really care about staying up much, uh, I I just do crowd work. Like I'll show up to a show and I'll do like a bit to start out. And then I just start talking to the crowd. Oh, that's interesting. That's fun Because for me, it's more fun. It's different. Uh, Patrice O'Neill uh, was one of the greatest <laughs> comics ever, dead now. But he would do that where he'd be like, I'm just going to do two bits and I'll just do crowd work to weave into those two bits and he'll do like 30 minutes. Wow. Because it's just like he wants every show to be different. So you could see him do the same two jokes, but they're not going to be the same. He's going to totally work different off show. other people. Yeah, and it's just going to, and it's like literally when I saw him do that, I went to New York and I saw him three nights in a row and it was different every single time except the same jokes. It was so cool. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do that. Smart. And also like you, you save yourself from like, I'm not going to waste material on this crowd that hates me. Yeah. Like I just spent a month working on this bit that is funny. I know it's funny. Right. Because I've done it before and it's worked. And now I'm going to come into this fucking crowd and they're going to just stare at me. And I'm going to feel bad about myself and hate myself for yeah. an entire drive yeah. home. Like you fucking kidding me. I do think though, like I see the benefit of an opener because there's some crowds that we would do. We did Portland and I, we, we walked out and it was like, the crowd blew up. They were so happy. It was yeah. like the loudest reaction. It was awesome. But you go to other cities and it's like, oh, they're not, they, someone's got to start this because they're not, they're not They're in. not clapping. They're, like, yeah. they're here. They're, <laughs> they're, 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 they're warm, smiling. Warmed up. Yeah. You got to warm yeah. this crowd up. Yeah. Well, I saw you in LA. Like, didn't you play music, Garrett? Like you played yeah. music yeah. beforehand, right? Did, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I started a video which uh, has kind of a, a, a an effect on like pumping the crowd up yeah, and it yeah, counts yeah. down to them three coming out on stage dancing the music's high energy then yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. usually it's a big pop but every once in a while people are just politely it's, smiling yeah, and they're not, they're happy they're happy they're but smiling they're just not the, the, yeah. the, the, the dam hasn't broken yet yeah yeah you know i did a show at a legal weed the the, <laughs> the first legal weed restaurant or something in la okay. it's on sunset and it's like you can go. It's like a Apple restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's infused. Everything you can go and you can just smoke weed there and you can drink weed tea. It's like every it's like it's Apple just Beans. a restaurant. Yeah, it. Oh yeah, it's I love Apple. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, uh, when you're there, you're family. And I <laughs> and like we were there to beforehand. Me and the other comics, amazing lineup. Like every comic on the line. It was Ahmad Baruka and Deb Giovanni. It was like such a great lineup of comics. And uh, I was opening, of course. Oh. And I go uh, and the host is like telling us, "Hey, just so you know." This show's super weird because they are going to enjoy it, but they're not really going to laugh. They're just going to kind of be there because they're, so fucking cause they're all very high. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, we have people come up and they just kind of lose it and they don't know what to do. And they start thinking that they're bombing, but you're not, you're not bombing. You're not going to bomb. Like you can't no bomb bomb. <laughs> Like you're going to, they're going to have a good time. They're, ha they're going to enjoy it. And I went up and I did, I think 15 minutes. And it was uncomfortable, <laughs> except for I. So I did the thing where I'm like, I'm not. This is dying. So I started just talking to the Focus crowd. Focus on one person. Yeah, and okay. I was like, making. I do this whole bit about cats and dogs. Very, you know, cutting edge. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Relatable though. And I did this bit, and like some guy in the front who was like a fucking Mexican gang member. Yeah. Was like, hey man, don't make fun of cats. And I was like. <laughs> And I was like, well, you love cats? Well, I, at my point, I'm like, I'm in a very upscale weed shop in sun, off Sunset. That? I yeah. don't think I'm going to get killed here. Yeah. No. So I was like, what do you like cats? I love fucking cats. And we just go back and forth. And it's great. It's all funny. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm like, dude, you're like, I'm like, no, I'm talking about people who get like cat tattoos. And he's like, I got a cat tattoo. And I'm like, no, you don't. I got all my cats tattooed. And I was like, all your cats? And he said, yeah, man. And I'm like, you're fucking kidding me. And he's like, I'm not, dude. 
and he stands up, takes off his fucking shirt. Yeah. yeah. On his back was a Mount Rushmore of, of his cats. cats. Wow. So we renamed it Mount Rushmore, which it should have been named. Uh, but it was literally Mount Rushmore of his cats, and there was one dead one, so he got a halo tattoo. Shut up. Oh. Cat's name. Dude, I was like, you brought him on stage for this, or is he just like turned around in the audience? He was right in front, so he could yeah. just stand up and oh, turn perfect. around. And I and it was like the funniest moment. But again, <laughs> nobody was. Oh. Like, it was just all like tiny little. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> weird. But it was like the one of the greatest moments I've ever had That's at a show. Crazy. And people were just like, uh -huh. and I left. My buddy Jeremiah and I like I after I did my show, we left and got dinner. And then when we came back, Deb Giovanni was on the street. Walking around with the wireless mic. Oh, he's not yelling even. at the crowd. <laughs> and we were like, what is she doing? And the host, uh, Brian, was like, yeah, dude, she lost it. She thought people, she thought she was bombing. So she was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so she just started doing weird shit. And I'm oh. like, that's hilarious. <laughs> but she was like on the crowd, like on the street. And it was like uh, upstairs. And she was just yelling at people that were upstairs. It was yeah. very funny. Wow. Anyway, sorry. That's rad. I, I, I love wireless mic. I liked it. No. You know, $15, well, guys. $15. If you email me. This could be yours. You can email me, DallasMac at gmail.com, or you can message me on any of my social medias. But that's limited supply. There it is. Just okay. there in the chat again. again. Dallas McLaughlin. Three codes. Uh, dot, Dallas McLaughlin dot com. Two S's. You can go there. You can email me there. Instagram, Twitter, email. You can go to Bandcamp. Message me there. $15. You get this album. You get free digital links to this album, to my first album, and to a secret album that you can only get by link. Hot damn. Secret album and a known album. And a known album. The uh, secret album has bad credit songs, and I was in a couple punk bands. Those tracks are on there, too. Is there any it's, Stomach Monkey stuff on there? There is Stomach okay, Monkey there stuff on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it's I confirmation, about. baby. That's all I need is yeah. Stomach Monkey. There's some stomach I'm Monkeys. It. There's some Cankle stuff. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Cankle. Uh, I remember the Cankles. Wally Bunting, mm -hmm. and... Uh, there's also uh, some stand up on there too. Yeah, so, nice. Please, fifteen bucks. That's all it is. It includes shipping. That that yeah, I don't think you better. Includes shipping, and okay. not overseas. Sorry, no way. Not a chance. I'm no. shipping this thing overseas. Not today. I'm gonna lose money on you this. know wh what you were saying about shipping earlier Nuts. being expensive. Sorry, we still, you know, I think any vendor <laughs> online, you sell stuff online, you you will get complaints about shipping, and it's like, uh, bro, we're not Amazon. I don't know what to tell you. You know, why is this eight bucks? That's, that's what it, it costs. We, have, we need that <laughs> to get to it there. It. I, I'm sorry. Like, you know, so that's that's bound to happen. That's bound to happen. You work in online sales stuff. It's going to happen. Yeah. But what really blows my mind is we get that a lot with overseas where it's like, oh, my God, you guys, $20 shipping. And I, and, and I see that and I'm like, oh, that does suck. $20 shipping. Yeah. What did you order? You know, oh, Blu-ray. Oh, shouldn't be that much for just a Blu-ray. Yeah. Damn. Where do you live? Da Nang. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is in like Korea. Yeah, that's no, we can't. Yeah, it costs that it much. Costs like too like much. I'll, I'll calculate it, and it's like, yeah. It, I if you don't live where we live, it will be a lot. Be, we know. shipped an album to Turks and Caicos. Okay, Turks and Caicos. Do you want to guess how much it was to ship the album? And we made them pay for it because we're like, there's no way we're paying for it. Yeah, just take a guess at how much it costs. I mean, I, to ship I to honestly Turks would guess Turks and Caicos and one CD. One CD, forty. Oh. We actually no. included a second CD because we felt so bad. Damn. I oh. would say, I'm, I'm gonna say twenty to twenty five. I would say twenty five at most. I went forty. Hundred and ten dollars. What? Wow. Hundred and ten dollars. What? Hundred and ten dollars. How did you Whoa. do this? We didn't do. They. We made them pay for it. But but Turks. you know, like Turks and, and it's a little island. Turks yeah. and Caicos. Wow. Uh, somebody was asking. This is a storytelling album with live in bars. I told stories live in bars. They're comedy stories. They're stories about stories him working about at SeaWorld. Bad credit. Bad credit. Uh, meeting Steve Martin and hanging yes. out with Norm Macdonald. Uh, there's also me a story about how I got uh, almost fired from the radio for yes. uh, telling bad jokes. I love That's that a good story. story. Uh, That's and there's a story about uh, when I. Um, uh, sold and then lost a sports TV show that actually Sean I wrote on. I honestly yeah. listening to that story. I was it was I was honored. Yeah, I, I mean I wasn't mentioned by name, but I was part of that team and I was there was for that. Part of the team, yeah. I was there for was that there. whole experience. So that's all those stories are on this album. And then you also, if you buy the CD, you get a link to my first storytelling album as well, which has other stories. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Sorry, I messed up earlier. I meant to say uh, Da Nang is a city in Vietnam. Vietnam, I, I know. I accidentally said, I, know. I mumbled Korea to myself, but that's not I, what I You know, I knew that what you I knew. I understand. I was thinking of Korean barbecue, which I wanted oh. to eat. I was thinking about eating. Are oh, you thinking of gold bee, spicy gold bee? Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking of. There's hey. a, sorry, uh, there's a bad credit song where we actually, the bridge was Korean barbecue. 
Mm -hmm. oh. We later would yell, verse two, Korean barbecue. <laughs> Nice. Um, it, yeah. Is that on the now album? I say it out loud. It's not that great. No, that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> we do need to talk about if some. <laughs> if, if we, you know, we talk about live events for a little bit there. We need to talk about the live event. Oh. And I also need to loop this in because, you know, last week we did. Uh, actually, no, I think it was when you were gone, Sean. Uh -oh. but we finally, because you were gone, specifically because you were gone, we got to get into gamer shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we it was such a massive success and such a hit segment. <gasps> I think we need to get into that now because the Game Awards were this week. You're bringing mm -hmm. it back? So we should talk about gamer shit because not only that, but then we're talking live events too, crowd, crowd stuff. That's they had a crowd at their show, they had and no so one rushed segue. the stage this year. No, did you see? Or, uh, I, did you watch any of it? I did not watch any of it. I just oh. kind of looked at the uh, updates on my Twitter feed the next day, and stuff you told me about. Was you, cool. you could see silhouettes of dudes all like. I heard a lot. Uh, yeah, more there was a security. lot of security. Yeah, and I've been to it a bunch in the past, and it never really was much. I not never, much. I never no. saw. But yeah, I actually give the most credit. I'll give the Game Awards is that they did not even name drop that Bill Clinton kid last year. Like, I was worried, like, oh, they're going to make a bit out of that. And they didn't even at all. And I was very happy because I, I was on. so tired of hearing about that or seeing that kid. I watched you guys watch the Game Awards, you yeah. know, because I, I, I was in. You the, popped in and out. I popped in and out. But I, most of it, I was driving around town getting kids from practices or whatever. And, I yeah, I was watching it. And I, me, it was. I'm 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 happy for Jeff. I love Jeff Keeley. <laughs> but I'm watching this going, I don't care about this. You know? Well, yeah, because you you're just looking for Injustice Three for your kids. I was looking for Injustice Three. And it's but, not coming. But I th I thought it was a perfectly fine show. I thought it was good. Um, Lots of new. There, there wasn't any trailers. one announcement that was like, oh my god, what? You know, but there was like <laughs> great stuff. There was. Uh, you know, we we now know about Kojima's horror game that he's doing. Uh, there's a new Mana game. There was, uh, well, well, there was another thing. A Jurassic Park game. Uh, there was a Jurassic Park game that was yeah, there. That's my, my contribution to this conversation. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Dallas. There was all kinds of stuff that I thought was fine. I felt like everyone was mad afterwards because they were cutting off a lot of developer speeches. But I all like you know, oh, they let Kojima talk for you know a million years about his new game, but then. Uh, you know, an indie developer wins and it's like, well, there, after 10 seconds, wrap it up. Da, da, yeah, da, da, this is the, way, the way of the but, world, baby. But yeah, I kind of feel like the same people last year got mad when the, the dude from God of War talked for 20 minutes. Like they, they yeah, like, we all got steam decks. Yeah, that's true. They did. They did a giveaway this year, but it wasn't infinite like it was last oh, year. Oh, OK. I think they learned their lesson. They were yeah. like, oh, my God, the speech will never end. How much money do we lose on steam decks? But wow. I, I just feel like I feel like last year everyone was mad. Those didn't end. But now this year it's. You're cutting them off too soon. And even Jeff, as soon as the show ended, tweeted like, hey, I thought they were actually were cutting off the speeches a little too quick. So I'm, gonna, I'm noting that down. So I, thought, okay. I thought it was That's like, okay, so he knows, he knows Dude, about he's, it. He, look, Jeff's the type of guy, he's always looking to do better. He's going to do better next year. Uh, I think he does a really good job balancing all these things. And I just saw, I just saw so many takes that were like, I know how to improve the award show. Um, they should divide it into two shows and do one where it's awards and one where it's just the debuts that who would watch two shows. Hold on. No, I'm not going to watch the announcements one. I, I just want to see who wins these 12 things. Like, you don't think he's thought of this stuff. I just feel like this. It's this guy's job to like balance these things. Yeah. You know, it's like, Okay, Timothy Chalamet, what does that have to do with video games? It, I mean, he did have a, a a channel where he modded Xbox controllers back in 2010. He was you, on? I don't know if you guys ever saw that. No. He he presented the last award. Oh, and really? I actually thought it was dope that Jeff uh, introduced him as, like, I forget. What his, his username? Name. He went, all right, this guy's had a channel for a long time. <laughs> Give it up for Xbox Mods 2010. Oh, dude. And it was Timothy Chalamet. He introduced him by that name. That's funny. And I thought that was really funny. But anyway... Yeah, modded controller 360. That was his name on there. <laughs> so yeah, it wasn't like my favorite of the award shows, but I I think he has a task every year of trying to balance those things. Yeah, Timothy Chalamet. Maybe he's not like deep in the gaming community now, and you're not thinking about Fucking, that. But yeah. but also like he he's talked before. He has to balance those things where it's like, well, hey, a lot of media places are going to cover this because Timothy Chalamet was there. Yeah, you know, and what you know. It's not all Hollywood, but he has to have a little bit of that, I think, to get sure 
you know, and I, I don't know. I think he does a pretty good job. You know, it doesn't work out every time, but I think, I don't know. The I Muppets think he, only I think have so much pull, you know? Yeah. And last year he had uh, Al Pacino, if I'm remembering that, correctly. See, that was so irrelevant to the game <laughs> industry. So it went around the world to, I thought, being amazing. Yeah. Was just like, are, we, are we just getting our favorite actors? <laughs> I just find it's, this is the best way to, there's no other game awards. Yeah. This is it. This is he, it. If it wasn't for this, there would be nothing. People complain yeah. about this, but it's like, well, it's this or nothing. So yeah. be happy with what you got, people. Yeah. And what you're getting is a bunch of trailers, <laughs> which are advertisements. It's fun. And he's yeah. got to balance that it's with fine. the awards, which are just kind of a fun popularity contest at this point. Uh, um, where were we? I don't even Timothy know. Timothy Chalamet Game Awards. Chalamet. But what I would really want to ask you, I mean, we could talk about the Wonka? Game Awards, I suppose. Did you guys want to talk about Wonka? I, Not today. Okay. Do you, no I, I want to talk about the. Have you seen? Is it out? It's no. touchy. Oh, that it's was a touchy. It subject. did seem a little touchy, didn't <laughs> yeah. it? Garrett? He's mad about it's it. Not no, out. No Wonka talk. Uh, he got really I want to talk about the it. Avatar game. Yes. Do you you yeah. played it. Have Trish you played it? Play oh, absolutely. But why would I not have played that day? One? I saw it at the store today and I almost picked it up. But I was like, I'm going to talk to Rocco before I get this. I don't yeah. know. I was surprised it was first person. It, it looks and feels yeah. kind of like Far Cry. It is definitely a Far Cry game. Yeah. Um, I feel like uh, there's something to me that doesn't connect about that series. And I think, I don't know, it's like Ubisoft's open world games just feel a little like, uh, how do I? Shitty. The stock, no, oh, no. Um, I really did not want to say anything like that. Um, oh, no. It was, it's like a, a little more robotic. I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, The way that it's, uh, put together it just it doesn't have a style to it that i like um i feel like it's a lot of check boxes but I'm, i don't feel especially inspired by it okay um this game is definitely one of the far cry games it feels like that but i think the fact that they nailed pandora and that you know the so avatar world you, you oh, feel it's, like they got every detail yeah okay in stunning detail and so that tips the scale where I'm like, well, at least I'm interested in being here. I think with Far Cry, it's like, yeah. where am I? Oh, you're in this canyon. I don't care. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know where I am or why. Yeah. I don't care. But with this, it's like, well, I'm enough of an Avatar nut that I'm like. Oh, I think I would like to okay, do that. I mean, cool. I don't I don't give a fuck about Avatar, which has been documented. Yeah, but I feel sure. like going and exploring that might be kind of fun. And the music is just like the movie. And yeah. The, you Did know. you like the last Avatar that came out? I didn't. I didn't see it. Oh, I didn't like it. Did you, you didn't like it? Didn't you? You gave it an okay review. It was a didn't shape you? of water or something. It was just trying to make water, me feel bad. Water. Sorry, Rocco. <laughs> it was trying to make you feel bad. Yeah, don't kill the whale. You brought that to it. You brought that to it. Yeah, that's the whale your own hang kicks, up. The whale kicks their ass. The whale kicks a human's ass in that movie. It was whale just, food. It was First just, off, it's not a whale. Well, it's not a whale. Oh, sorry. Tulkun. Yeah. Tulkun. Eh. I have no, I I will never see that again. Rocco just got really mad. You like did a Jedi mind trick over him. I have not seen this movie. <laughs> but I will check out this game because I remember my review of the movie was like, I just want to like explore this world. I don't yeah. really care about the story you want to give me. I don't give a fuck about yeah. that. So, yeah. Well, you might like the game because, yeah, as soon as it starts, it's like some Avatar student, like younger Avatar student people. Mm. Uh, well, they're Navi, not people, but yeah, uh, they're mad. Uh, there's like a human man that's pissing them off. And then it, and then it flashes forward and the war is going on and. It's like there's a lot of tension between the Navi and the humans, mm. and that's it. All right, game starts. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's like, okay, sure. yeah, I get it. Oh, by the way, here's a bow and arrow, and these arrows are so strong, they pierce armor. Oh, you, now like, we're talking. Like, if you see a robot, who, no problem. Who cares? It, you'll kill it. Yeah. It's fine. And then, yeah, you do that, and you feel like a badass. Like, I'm slinging arrows, and oh, my, I just pierced a Can mech. you ride those things, those little pterodactyl things? I have... The Ekron or the, oh, okay, uh, I don't, you know, Banshee, what? whatever. Okay. Are you talking yeah. about the Truck Makto? Because there can only you know be what? one. Truck every... Makto that is mentioned right at the beginning. Right at the, the beginning. Oh, I love yeah, that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, my next question is for Dallas. Uh huh. Shohei Otani spelled, signed spelled for the Dodgers. <laughs> oh. That's I, can we just go back a second where Rocco was legitimately mad at me for getting the name of the movie? No, wrong. no, I, I wasn't. It was mad at very. You. No, I said I was shape more, of the water, was, and you went. You went wait, wait. I was more mad than Sean. <laughs> wait, yeah, well, I have to. I have to correct stuff on a daily basis. Oh here. yeah, 
Every title is said wrong. <laughs> hey, this this weekend we're doing Halloween Hellfest. No, that's oh, not the name of the festival. God, you know, yeah, I got to yeah. do that every day. Yes, so I get it. I've get become it. I've become uh, the Neo of of proper wording. <laughs> He's Neo. No, where I'm just right. like <laughs> it's it's actually that. It's I mean actually the this. same way. If you were to that. get something from like The Godfather wrong, I'd be like, uh, actually, <laughs> right? yeah, I, I get it. It's yeah. just I didn't know that. You, I didn't know if you really liked Avatar or not. He does. Uh yeah, a whole okay. lot. I didn't um, see the second one. I really don't. I don't like those movies. They're not. They're not for well, you, me. Well, you only saw the one, so you don't like that movie. The second one was much better than the first one. The second give one it a was chance. Way better. Dallas, give it a chance. I will say the second one was better. Um, first one, first like uh, first one. I really liked the theme park when I got to go to the theme park land. That made me like, yo, I'm an Avatar fan. I'm oh, where's the theme park? I'm gonna, in, in Florida. Disney World. Oh, okay. All right. uh, and Disney uh, World, really? Yeah, Disney at, World, at the yeah. Animal Kingdom park, there's a whole land that is just avatar that's cool you go onto the planet pandora and that made me like damn i think i'm a fan this is this rules this kicks ass i'm gonna watch the first movie again didn't really still don't really like it yeah um it's just too basic i just there's well, nothing that gets my imagination going other than the world building which was good um but then the second avatar was, was dope outside was of dope shit terminator i believe james cameron is a very bad writer Mm. I don't. I don't know. There's Titanic, not, you don't like? No. I, I well, like he didn't it. really write Titanic. Uh, that kind of happened. No. Uh, no. Jack no. and Rose. Uh, and also, he literally. It is his fault because the end of that movie is such bullshit. Nah, he nah. literally put her on something that could fit two people. I know. That yeah, was that bad. is weak. That, that was like set designer. He is hold a on. bad. He is a bad. He, listen, the people. Well, hold on. Okay. No, I just want to say this. Uh, I'm I've gonna, got. I'm going to end it. <laughs> Go ahead, and then get ready for what I got. Okay. You're not going to be ready for Can't it. Can't wait. <laughs> I think I think James Cameron it, it makes very interesting movies. I think he is a bad writer in the same sense that I think George Lucas is a bad writer, mm -hmm. and but he makes very interesting movies. Oh, like yeah. I think, uh, like The Abyss. I mean, mentioned Abyss. The Abyss is a very cool movie. That guess what is terrible at the end. The last twenty minutes is so stupid. And that's all James Cameron's bullshit. The same thing goes like Titanic's first two hours. Like, I don't give a shit about any of this stuff. Just get to when the ship explodes. That's all I want to see. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, Terminator was cool. Terminator 2 was better. But again, that's just an action movie. I disagree. One's better. Uh, Sean's wrong on that. Too. That's <laughs> fine. I, I mean, I, that's not a debate I even ever care to have. I, I would, Avatar yeah. is like the, literally the thing is called unobtainium. I mean, how bad of a writer know, do dude. you have to oh, be? Oh, God. No like, on that it's just that shit that. is like he's just a bad He's a bad writer, but he's not a bad. But like, uh, like I said, like Lucas, he's not a bad world builder. He's not a bad idea person. He's a really good creator of things, uh, and I think filmmaker. I just think that when it like he should let somebody else write his right. movies. Like oh. I just had a saw the other day. Sorry, I, I this will take us off on no, a tangent. No, it's okay. I'm about to nuke this whole thing. So <laughs> get it out I was just gonna say this. I thought the other day how cool it would be if Wes Anderson. Uh, let Aaron Sorkin write one of his movies. Oh, that would be uh, cool. Because like I'm like after I've seen the last two West Anderson movies, I'm like you should just let somebody else. That's write what these. I'm saying. <laughs> like yeah. uh, these Asteroid are great. City these are fine. Sucks. These are fine, but like you're a really great creator. Like you've created yeah, this great. amazing thing that yes. looks incredible. Let somebody else 100 uh, percent agree with you. Write the I'm not for smart you. enough to get what you're doing, Wes. Yeah, like he used to let uh, you know Owen Wilson used to write all of the scri scripts with him, yeah. and like other guys, and then like now he just does it on. And nah, it's very, anyway, help. nuke me. Tell me why I'm wrong. The joke. Uh, I don't know if it's a joke or a commentary made about the door at the end of Titanic that she lays on yeah. mm -hmm. is is repeated ad nauseum by people who haven't watched that movie in a long time because it's a long movie. Yeah. But they test it in the scene. Yep. They both get on it. It sinks. So he gets off and lets her be on it. So when they go, oh, there's there's room. There's still there's still room. You haven't watched you know it what, Rocco? in a long time. I have it's, seen they, that scene, but my issue with it is that they only tried once. You yeah, gotta gather, try again. Gather You're some more wood. You're just gonna give up on all? Yeah. If you, if, if you try everything in the movie twice, it's a six hour movie instead of a three hour I'm movie. I'm not saying everything. I'm saying that when it's the final push and you're gonna die or try again, you should try again. Give it a shot. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. Um, it's easy for you to make that call in your warm studio here <laughs> in San Diego, but when you're in the water that feels like a thousand knives, it's it's like I I want to make sure she lives, and also we got to keep the movies edit down. Yeah. So you just made a blood flowers reference, and that's really weird. Why would you make that reference? 
What? Who? Me? Somebody in the comments just made a blood flower is cure reference, and I'm really interested in why they would make that reference. Oh, you know what? A big cure. Well, please respond to my question because I'm <laughs> right now. I'm writing a story right now that I'm doing at the end of December, and one of the points of it is how bad blood flowers is. What's blood flowers? It's a cure album. Oh, oh, oh. it's a terrible oh. fucking cure album. Oh, really? I really want to know how they made that. Reference. Explain yourself. Uh-huh. Like no that's like, did you fucking one? hack into my computer? They and, do. Uh, <laughs> you read they that email address and like they that is it out. insane to me that that would, that that, I don't want to go home. It does say, just FYI, Blood Flowers is a good Cure album. So yeah, that was, that was weird. That's, that's that weird. Is weird. That's that weird. is weird. I'll agree that it's weird. Oh. That that would be a reference that somebody would, I swear to God, if somebody hacked into my fucking no, Google. No, no. You did give it out. Yeah, but they're not going to hack into like that. <laughs> that's not how it works. I, I, I don't know. I mean, how do you know? I'd be freaking out right now too. Da- I mean, I'm I gave Dallas. out my email, but I mean, like you can get my email. That's not a hard thing to find. Mm. Oh, then that guy just put all my shit back up. Now we're all, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm fucked, man. Listen, if you, I swear to God, if Soul Seek, man, this is all backfiring. No, no, it's, no, no, no. We're, no, we're no, getting no, you tons no, of sales. No, no, You're no. good. Tons hey, of sales. Yeah. Tons of sales. I'm um, sorry that you, I'm sorry that I was wrong about the Titanic thing. No, um, it's not just you. It's in general. I see that like once a day. But like, oh, you know, there was room. There was room. Bro, they tested it and it was sinking. I mean, you know what else they tested though? They tested that the JFK was shot by one shooter, and we all know that's not true. So yeah, we've been yeah. there. There's a lot of things that we've plaza. tested that aren't actually real. But that's yeah. okay. you could say they should have done this, they should have done that. Yeah, they should have dodged the iceberg too, but they, it's <laughs> they, they didn't. didn't. They like, what do you want me to tell you? Iceberg. And I hate that she throws the heart of the ocean back into the sea. Like, come on, you old bitch. Like, don't. Oop. That's my favorite line in the movie. JFK shot himself. That's Did, so fucking funny. Have you ever seen the deleted ending of Titanic where? She uh, goes out to throw the diamond and they stop her mm-hmm. and a whole 10 minute scene unfolds. Yes, where I they, have seen that. That's, that's like to, to actually your point. I have seen that. It's like one of the worst scenes I've ever seen in my entire life. And mm. someone talked James Cameron into cutting it. Like, hey, just have her like throw it into the thing and go to bed. Yeah. Go yeah, to bed. He's <laughs> not. He's just not a good writer. He's a good filmmaker. Not a good writer. I did see Abyss for the first time this week. Um, it played in theaters. On Wednesday, one showing. I heard some, yeah. And uh, did I, you like it? I liked it. I, yeah, I thought it's it was a great. cool the movie. The last twenty it's minutes, different. though. Right. The like last twenty minutes is fine. It's just it wasn't a, like the best. It takes such a curve that you're like not a curve necessarily, but you know what I mean. Like it. I love the yeah. part. I don't want to give it. Why would I be worried about giving out anything? <laughs> you know what though? Uh, because this it's, one, a, I, it's I don't, forty years old. But I don't want to spoil this one specifically because it was actually it was a packed theater showing. And I think that had to do with that movie has actually been inaccessible for a long time and how big James Cameron has got in his legacy and all that stuff. Uh, he never remastered the abyss. He never had time to do it. And so yeah. that for like 20 years hasn't been. Jenny was just talking about this movie and how to get Ed Harris. He's in that movie, yeah. right? He's like yeah. main dude. He refuses to speak about it. Yeah, yeah he hated it. Yeah, I just he, I just read a whole thing. About yeah, it. really? Yeah, because I guess he almost died on set and it was all fucked. And yeah, he said something in an interview where he's just like, I'd rather kill myself than talk about that movie. He said something really d- dark like that. It was Jesus. just like, yeah. oh, Ed? oh, oh, OK. Yeah. Sorry, Ed. Sorry, Ed. Um. Dallas, I know you have to go soon. I do have to go. I'm sorry. But um, but what about Aliens? But the yeah, sequel. Aliens is great. Oh, uh, I don't, you know, those, I'm not a big sci-fi person. Okay. So like, I don't. Oh, well, that, you, I no can't, wonder you don't like his stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't like Titanic say, for a reason. No, no, no. I, I <laughs> Like in the sense that like I like the first two Aliens. Yeah. I think both of those are really great movies. I just didn't care to like. I've seen the other ones. Oh, they just like the storyline. I'm just thinking about James Cameron's specific sequel. Yeah, those. You know? I, like, listen, the writing in that, I think, he's is... very good at making films. He's very bad at making them uh, interesting, entertaining. <laughs> to no. interesting beyond <laughs> the note. visuals and beyond the world building. Okay. If that makes sense. All right. Does that make sense? I don't. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it I don't sense. really care. I, this is my opinion. That's your opinion. Yeah, of course. And people love his shit. Obviously, he's like makes a billion dollars a year. Oh yeah, he's yeah. Fucking, he's not, nobody needs my authority to be like. So Shohei Otani signed with True the Lies Dodgers. Is great. Oh, with the fucking Dodgers. We've got two big reasons to end this podcast. Yeah, no, we, we, I want you talk go. about whatever hit, you want to talk I, about. I, we we got to hit go. with James Cameron is bad, and I love baseball. That's I. We got to get Shohei for ten years. For seven hundred million dollars, yeah, yeah, seven hundred million dollars, seventy million dollars a season. Let me just say this: it's yeah. a lot of money. It's a lot of money to get mismanaged by Dave Roberts That's, when it counts. There you go. 
The uh, windows crashed. They tried to save us. From it's that. it's it's <laughs> you know, such. Bill Gates was looking out for us, man. The uh, dude is Garrett Shohei. He's Shohei Otani, who I love, for the record. Who I, did he play I, for? The Angels. See, so he another LA move. team. He doesn't have to move. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, what a sweet gig this guy. He's got. gonna make over four hundred thousand dollars for every baseball game played, whether he plays in it or not. He just for the next ten years a game for the a next game. ten years. We do the math but the on that. fucking Dodgers, dude. Ah, uh, the whole time it was a free agency. I was like, anyone but the Dodgers. Anyone but the Dodgers. And of course, they got the money to, the to pay for it. Seven hundred million. That's all. Uh, That's absurd. Yeah, I think it's a mess that he got that much money. Yeah. Uh, I also will not say that it's a problem because I will immediately be proven wrong that he's going to be the greatest baseball player of all time, and then you'll be like, oh, look what you said. The only thing is they probably, probably won't pitch. He probably won't, Next they, year, he, he, for he, sure he won't. He won't pitch next year. He might not pitch ever ever again. So it is kind of, it's, it's just a lot of money for someone who's going to DH. Yeah, it's a lot. It's fielder. That's, it's, he's not even fielding. He's not fielding. He's, he's not just hitting. Fielding. He's just hitting. He just, literally will just I mean, be hitting. He, if he can pitch again, what? when he was pitching, he was DH one of the best pitchers ever. Yeah. Great. But he is just he a has, good hitter? Yes. Great hitter. Very good hitter. Okay. One of the best hitters too. One of the best he's hitters. He's better than Babe Ruth. He's Fucking great. He's okay. one of the best players to ever play the game. That is true. However, he just, he ripped up his arm and he's going to need Tommy John surgery for, I think, a second time. Now? Oh, yes. he'll never pitch again and the way gonna, he did. Gonna, and they're not going to let him pitch again. No. I, for seven, I, I just, am, wow. Wow. Anyways, that's, right, I sorry. wanted to get that out. You know, Dallas, you're here in that big Sad, I appreciate happening. it. And I don't, and I, I want, I don't, here's the thing. Uh, the Dodgers can spend all the money they want to also, again, not win a world series. <laughs> My favorite thing about this, <laughs> like though, it doesn't matter. Like they spent money on Freddie Freeman. Didn't work out. They didn't spent work money out. on Moogie Betts. Didn't work out. Yep. Like they can spend all the money they want. If they never go, they, they'll never win a real world series. They won the 60 game. This world is series. what I will say though. And Good Rocco, job, put the switch away. Cause I'm gonna tell you this one thing. Cause I think this is interesting. Yeah. I'm checking the tweets. No, the stop. Tweets. I listen to your is, boring shit all the time. This is interesting. I know about yeah. Yokai Ranger. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. Yokai Ranger. The day before he signed with the Dodgers, it was almost a for certain thing he's going to Blue Jays. They're tracking a private jet going yeah, yeah, to yeah. Toronto. As bad as it is for a Padres fan, yeah. being a Blue Jays fan must be so much worse when oh. you thought you had him and then you fucking didn't. You got the Dodgers got him. Instead. Well, you know who had a better... Uh, playoff record last year than the Dodgers uh the Blue Jays the Blue Jays so uh I hear the, the it just doesn't matter to me it's like it's one more guy to be like ah shit well now we have to face that guy yeah uh all the time however uh it will be cool to see him that's what person. I'm saying too I get to see him cool. in person I, that's I mean, cool like, I'm down I just like I'm not afraid of the dot like everybody's like oh they're stacked Great. It's just more people. Like, remember the the Yankees and I don't know if you remember anybody remember the Yankees. Yeah, the Yankees in like two when A Rod was over there. Wait, it was yeah. just superstar after superstar yeah. after superstar, and I think they won one World Series yeah. with a payroll of like three billion dollars. Like, it doesn't mean they're gonna do anything. It's just it's it, you know what it, it's yeah. I'm gonna see him live. That's cool. They I also have, was on the Dodgers, but and they have no pitching. Like the Dodgers have two pitchers, so yeah. that's the is it a power thing. move? The owners are doing like we we well, got it's, it, we dude. got the number one, and we'll keep them away from the other team. <laughs> well, it's not even that; it's that they will now they are going to make so much money off of him. Yeah, okay. Like they it's will make this design. money back. He is uh, like the superstar from Japan. Yeah. So therefore, like now Japan is their market. Like when oh. Ishiro, do you ever you ever hear of Ishiro, Ishiro Suzuki? Suzuki? Yeah, yeah totally. When Ishiro from came to Seattle, mm -hmm. he came to Seattle and like. That became Japan's number one team. Like That's everyone okay. in Japan loved the Mariners. They're buying merch. Huge. Got huge. It. So like, and the Angels were the same thing. Otani went to the Angels. People in Japan just love the Angels. That's their guy. And now, and the Dodgers is a bigger market. Hell yeah. And they, they have a bigger, I mean, Trout is the other best player in baseball, but the Dodgers are way more relevant because they're a better team than the Angels. So like it's a huge. Their TV contracts will go up. Their radio contracts, oh, yeah, will go, everything. Like they're gonna make some. That's why they're doing it because they get to now. And also he's good, so he gives them a very and good he's chance. Likeable. He's likable. He's great. He's very likable. Like loves him. He's not a dick. He's, he's not. He's a dick. like he's and like he's a Travis so Kelsey could type. Have been a dick. He could have easily been. A but dick. he's just like the sweetest. He's the new sports him. darling. I, I don't like. I hate the Dodgers. But I love him. I, I hate the him. Dodgers, and I, I don't. I don't care about Otani. Uh, I and that's a part. That's the problem. Freddie Freeman. Such a likable like baseball him player. So much. One of the most likable baseball players ever. And he's a Dodger. And you're like, how? I can't root against that guy. He's yeah. always, he just, have, he's so happy to be alive and playing baseball. Yeah, he loves his family. He loves his family. It. His kid loves to tease. Like, yeah, it's loves just, that. How is it? You know, it's hard. It's hard to, but 
They are the Dodgers, and Dave Roberts is a terrible manager. So we have that going Fuck. for us. Hey, I'm sorry. How do you beat Smithy? The la- right. Hey, I last. Hey, I gotta go. I gotta drive home. What? Dallas has got to go. But the last thing I'm gonna say. Do you know, Whirl. The last thing I'm gonna Fuck, say, man. I'm gonna say. I'm at the, is, literally at the last boss. Is that the the Padres have won a playoff game more recently than the Dodgers? So that has happened. That's true. Thank you so uh, much for watching, hell. everyone. Dallas Ingram would be Nobody here. Go. Ever, they, she didn't ever reply to about the blood flower thing, and that's still, or he, and that still worries me. Hey, I agree with you, by the way. I looked up the track list. Not a good song on that No, it's album. very bad. It is. Very, very bad. Not a noticeable nothing. Yeah. nothing. It's very, very bad, and uh, it's, it's panned by critics, and it'll be on an upcoming album. You can hear that story. But again, why did that person mention that? I think they just could sense it. If they fucking there's uh, th- that would they would show be their very hand. strange. It'd be very strange. That, that'd be a weird thing to do. <laughs> be very to be strange. Like, and ideas. also, it's really hard to to do that with an email. I get, it Dallas, is. It is. But don't yeah. worry about it. You're worrying, but no need. Okay. And TS, or, uh, what, what NSA is already reading your email. That's true. They, <laughs> uh, you know, as NSA I, loves blood flowers. As I always say, you know, hey guys, we're going paintball on this weekend. If you want to join, details are in my email. <laughs> That's for the NSA. That's mm. for, that's for hey, that. thanks for watching. Everyone, uh, email Dallas. Get his $15 CD. You'll be happy you did. Don't listen to Blood Flowers. Don't listen mm. to Blood Flowers. Listen to pornography. And come back next week because it is Christmas cast 2023. Yes. Uh-huh. I'm not going to throw up this year. I'm not going to throw up. You sure about that? Don't. I'm going. I'm, I'm not going to fucking throw up. So everyone, tune in. Check us out. Hey, oh, can I say one last thing? 15 yes. bucks. I want to do, I want to say one last thing before we go out. Um, I know it's a somber note to go on, but I want to say uh, we lost this week. Vince Howley, Frank's dad, yes. um, oh, yeah, passed away this past week. Um, and I shared some clips on a couple social media, you know, on Instagram and stuff like that, um, where we were just hanging with him and filming and how much fun we had, um, you know, he was always down for everything and, and, and always wanted to make Frank happy. And you could see it in the footage. You could literally see he's saying all this funny stuff and Frank is behind him laughing and all that stuff. Um, I love that you posted those we, clips. We, well, I posted those specifically because that was how we got to know him. Yeah. We never met him before. That was for We time. lost someone who was going to do a news segment for us. And then it was like, well, maybe, maybe my dad will do it. Oh, thanks, Frank. Yeah. Talk to him. And we died laughing. So, oh my God, it was so funny. Um, I still say so, Scorcher to this I, yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will say um, Vince, you know, would message me and Jenny all the time about yeah. just like parenting stuff or yeah. like, you know, Lennon had a, a dance recital there. I, he's like, I like to donate to this. Like, he was just the sweetest. He was always reaching out and commenting yeah. and just. There was not a sweeter person on this planet. So Vince, we will truly miss you. And Frank, we we mourn with you. Yeah, we're rooting for Frank and just wanted to say rest in peace to Vince because yeah. one of the f- funniest guys we nicest ever worked with, nicest planet. guy and a great father who loved, loved his son. And his Facebook is a Frank Howley tribute page. <laughs> yeah, for real. How much he just was all he would do anything. He'd be he'd do, do something for a show or be on a thing or make something. And Vince would always post it. Yeah. My son, Frank, did this and this today. He worked on this. And, you know, he, oh, it was my amazing. favorite thing is the first time he went to our studio and he was like, you guys built all this. And I was like, we did. And he just went, wow. Like, so like, <laughs> yeah. happy for, yeah. oh. he was all he was an ambassador of positivity. True. Um, and so, yeah, we'll all miss so. him a lot. So, as you said, rest in peace, Vince. And uh, shout out to Frank. We're all rooting for him during this time, which I can't even imagine. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's all. Just wanted to. Yeah. Wanted to bring that up. All right, yeah. Johnny, <laughs> we're not going to end it on a bit tonight, but we're just going to fade out. Good, Good night, night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>